Hello everyone, MP, of Christ, all of you, please invite your friends. And today we are going to talk about something very, very nice. You know, since I was a kid, I like uh, astronomy. But the best astronomy is not when you look at the moon or at the stars, because in the earth we have different stars. Who need to look at the sky? We do not need the sky no more. You know, I remember there's a video in YouTube, uh, the Sheikh, he was describing how Muhammad looked like, and he said, he look at the moon, he look at the prophet, he look at the moon, he look at the prophet, he look at the moon, and look at the prophet, he look at the moon, and look at the prophet, he look at the moon, come tomorrow, he look at the moon, he look at the prophet. At the end of the conclusion is, the prophet is more pretty than the moon, because he's whiter. The white supremacist cult of Islam. I'm not going to play this video because you know that this this uh, little uh, uh, burqa boy, the second you play his video, he go report it to YouTube copyright. He's a coward, he's a potato. Actually, we have still a copy of uh, his last report. This is how coward he is. He will not let us call him, and he will not dare to call us, and he will not let us even make a video to respond to him. <laughs> See how brave he is. He go to YouTube. Please protect me. Christian Prince, he made a video exposing my stupidity. So I'm going to report him. Please take his video down before everybody download the video and see. <laughs> well, just a bunch of kids. But you know, <clears throat> in the same time, uh, this guy is from the Dean Show. I don't know if you know the Dean Show. It's very, very stupid. And I played the video a thousand times, actually, maybe more. Especially the one about the heaven. When you go to heaven, it's the most amazing, stupid comedy ever you can imagine. Uh, actually, I played their video in the seminars in the, in many countries, and people literally they fall off the chairs laughing at that description of paradise. You can search it, the show description of paradise, and you will see what I'm talking about. But for sure, my comment is going to be more more funny. So, look at this guy here. This guy is so astonished, which, I mean, I don't blame you. Look at this. I mean, look at his face. And this guy is looking at this guy saying, like, what the heck with him? What happened? I just told him the moon split. Why his mouth is open, his eyebrows is up. His my life was so big. <laughs> so today, we are going to show Christians how not only to refute, but to use their claim to destroy Islam and the Quran. Again, I cannot play the video because this little choppy boy, he have a hobby of reporting to YouTube. He's a coward. Uh, but you can watch the video yourself and you will die laughing. Let us go to business. The chapter of the moon is where supposedly the Quran speak about the moon split. And remember, it's not me who is using the word split, it is them. I wanted to focus on this word. This is them saying the splitting. I'm so glad they did not say spitting. So it's a split, not a crack, not a valley. You know what I mean? It's a splitting. When you say splitting, we are talking about a watermelon cut into two pieces. That's when you split something. Split is not connected no more. Split is not a crack. Split, split is not a valley. Otherwise, the earth is a split too because we have millions of cracks in the earth. All of them, they are called, we call them valley. Like the, the Grand Canyon, one of the biggest maybe. So, this was a split not a crack. The whole video is based on what? Based on a picture from NASA that the moon split. Why? Because the moon have a crack. But you know, the moon is full of cracks and actually all the moon surface is a crack and the reason as you see because there is meteor falling down over the moon and they are causing those cracks it's a very fragile 
surface. But when we speak about split, we are talking about something become two pieces. So what the Muhammadan is speaking of is this planet cut off two pieces. Let us make a line. So, supposedly, according to the Muhammadan and their videos, Allah, he cut the moon two pieces. Now, not a single science say such a thing. And the, the, and the uh, you know, not only no science says that, simply is the moon, if the moon is split, the moon will be destroyed because the moon, uh, let us say, size and weight will not be the same. It's going to be two pieces. And that will change everything. And the first change will happen, at least one of them is going to hit the earth. Let us say this, this half here is the one is facing the earth when the moon is split. The earth will grab that half. Why? Because the weight it change and the size it change. So now it is in a certain movement or let us say I'm trying to find the correct word you know my English is not my first language my first language and it's not good at all uh, the orbit of the moon is controlled by two things the size of the earth and the weight of the earth and the size of the moon and the weight of the earth or the moon if you change any of that, that will change. So if the moon is split, that will make it half size, two pieces, and the Earth most likely is going to grab at least one of them, if not two of them. Actually, I think two. If you are a person who is good in astronomy, you can help us and you can leave your comment, especially if you are professional in that field. Uh, so the orbit is in a certain place for a very simple reason. The weight, the size, and this is why it is stuck there. It's literally stuck. And if the moon is split, as the Quran say, that will destroy both the moon and the earth. Because imagine if the half of the moon hit the earth, the earth will not be the same no more. It's going. Everybody would die first. Secondly. I don't think the earth will stay as, as one piece because such a massive size uh, hitting the earth. It's going to be like a, a billion tons of uh, nuke. So the one who speak about the moon splitting, obviously they decide to split their mind into two pieces. One is saying, I am an idiot and I believe in any lie. The other one, because I am a believer in a lie, I am Muhammadan, like Muhammad, I am going to fabricate something never been said in NASA. NASA never said the moon split. They said there's a cracks, and the whole moon have a cracks. And according to NASA, it took, they took it billions of years, those cracks. Not in one day, there's one crack. Every single inch in the moon is a fragile, which means it's cracked somehow. But you know what? We will go with the Muslim, the Abdul, the Muhammadan claim. But by doing that, we destroy the Quran. How we can do that? Shall we start? My Skype is open. If there is any Abdul he there, imagine, listen, as usual, any Abdul, including those who they are in the picture, if you have the courage and the knowledge to give me a text in Skype, I will call you. You do not need to call me. 
The funny is the Muslim they say we invited the coward the Christian prince to a public debate. Abdul, it is more public than YouTube. I mean, can you imagine more public than YouTube? So if YouTube is not a public place, so what is public? Your bathroom? Here we go, I just started. And we have hundreds of people watching. What more public can be more than this? So if you are a Muslim, a Mohammedan, who believe strongly that the moon split, let us have a conversation and let us make a challenge if you will not leave Islam after talking to me. Who want to do that? Do we have any Muhammad, Muhammadan? May they? May they? Any Muhammadan he believe really the moon split would like to call me? Anyone? That's it? What happened? Where is the proud people about astronomy in the Quran? All right, well, look like I'm getting zero invitation to challenge by Muhammadan. Still, my Skype is open. Feel free. You can text me anytime if you feel like, you know, you know, there is some power drink. You can buy them from 7up store. You know, you will drink them and you will be very powerful. Now, let us go to the claim. As long the Muslims, the Muslims, they say that the moon split. And this is in chapter 54, verse number one. That again is additional proof that Muhammad is a fraud. Why? Because Muhammad claimed that his God told him that the moon split ascender because the judgment day is very near. Actually, not only in the near, it's in the corner. The word iqtarabat is not only near, it is almost there. So the last hour, this is the Muslim translation. Remember, this is not my translation. Draw near and the moon split ascender. Well, here we go, 1400 years after, and the judgment day is not there. So this is number one, it's a false prophecy. For he consider the moon splitting as a sign of a judgment day, not a miracle to prove anything. Okay, there's a Muslim, he says he will call me and he is ready to shut me up. That's wonderful. Answer, Abdul, answer. And don't forget to mute you too. Well, Abdul is not answering. Oh, he answered, I think, now. Hello? Hello? Yes, Abdul, how are you doing? How are you? Hello? Hello? Yes. You are live on air. What Hello, do you want to say sorry. to us? We are talking about the moon splitting. What do you like to share, Mr. Abdul? No, 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 no. First, I want to talk about flat earth. About what? Can we do that? About what? About the flat earth. About what? Flat earth? Flat earth. Flat earth. What? Yes, yes, yes. Well, this I, I no, no, no. Uh, our, our topic now. Okay, we can go there after we finish this one. So what do you think about the moon splitting? Because we are making this video designated to answer the claim of the moon splitting. What do you want to say about this? Do you believe that the moon is split? Of course not. You can see the moon is whole right now, my friend. Okay, so why are you all calling me? Where do those people come to me from? Um...
Okay. If you want, if you are a Muslim and you want to call me, I want a smart person to call me, not a person who took too much hashish. He do not know even what the topic. And of course not. So why you are calling me? I want people to debate me, not someone to agree with me. So the last hour draw near and the moon split asunder. First of all, do you see any mistake in the statement there? Who want to help me? Who want to help me? There's a mistake. There's a huge mistake. When the Muslim, they say that Allah, he made a miracle. Where is the word Allah? And where it says that I split the moon. Does it say that? Anyone see the word Allah said? I mean, how in the world first? Muhammad, he received a verse or a chapter saying the last hour draw near and the moon split ascender. What does that mean? Who's talking? You will notice here the Muslim, they added something is not in the Quran. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, but this is not number one. This is number one, which means this is an addition. It's a fabrication. So right away, Muhammad received a call from Allah. As, as you remember, Muhammad said in the hadith, he received sound of a bell. Ta -da -dum, ta -da -dum. Muhammad translated the sound of the bell is, the last hour draw near and the moon split asunder. But nobody saying, I split the moon. Nobody saying, I made a miracle. Nobody saying that this is even from Allah. All what it says, is reporting something they saw supposedly in the sky and that was an eclipse same time this is a poetry made by an arab christian his name is imr al qais and the muslim they try their best to delete his poetry from their books but we have the copies and we reserve the, the poetry. And you will notice how much Muhammad he took from the poetry of this man, which is a poetry he was speaking about his beautiful women who he loved her. Look, look. That is Sa'a when Shaq al Qamar. Muhammad, he took the word Danat and he replaced it with the word Aqtarabat, which means the same thing. And supposedly this is not the word of Umrah al Qais. Aqtarabat and Danat is the same thing. But Danat is more strong. That is when Shaq al Qamar and Ghazal in Sada Qalbi wa Nafar. This guy is talking about a woman. She is like a deer for him. In the middle of the night, or in the night, in the darkness, she split the darkness like a moon. She is a deer who hunted his heart. And this deer ran away. So his heart was hunted by a woman. She appeared in the middle of the darkness and she split the darkness as the moon split. And he's saying, This is the, the, the judgment day is near. Look what happened to me. He described how beautiful her eyes is. And he's saying, I don't know even how to describe this woman. If you notice with me in the page here, all the lines in black, those underlines verses in the Quran, Muhammad, he took it word by word. <laughs> so the potato Muhammad, he was making Quran by copying a poet of an Arab Christian.
all those sentences Muhammad he used in his Quran. So this is the origin of this is Iqtarabat al saa when Shaq al Qamar. But as long as the Muslims they insist that this is a miracle, well, I like this miracle because this miracle will help us to destroy Islam even better. You know, there is something called Quran according to Revelation. I don't know how many of you knows that the Muslims agree that the Quran they have today is not the same as the Quran used to be exist in the time of Muhammad. In which way they say, it's just the, how, the way it was organized. They don't say we change it, we play with it. In fact, they did. So if you search right now, any one of you, if you search for Quran according to Revelation, you will see many Islamic websites showing you the order of the Quran and supposedly how it's revealed between two brackets from the God between two brackets of Muhammad to the bracket prophet. So the first verse Muhammad you receive or chapter it was Al Alaq. And according to the Muslims, today it is in the Quran as number 96, which is a clear proof that the Muslim they change the Quran and they play with it. If Allah gave you this is number one, how you make it 96, which is the end of the Quran. However, our interest today is the chapter of the moon, which is the chapter where the moon supposedly split. As you see with me in the screen, it says it is number 54 in the Quran today. It is number what? 54 in today Quran. But in reality, it was 37, which means Muhammad he received. This Quran as order 37 as a chapter. You see it? So in the original Quran, it is 37. This is the Qamar, which means the moon. Actually, the Qamar does not really mean moon, mean, mean uh, 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 sorry, I, I, I was talking about, uh, you know, if you, if you if we count the Muslim, they say to you the miracle of the how the word moon, you know, uh, counted in the Quran, uh, uh, the word Qamar is a moon, but there is other word, which is Hilal, it is a moon, and Ahilla is a moon, and Shahar is a moon. All of them, they are not even Arabic words. But we will continue with this. So, the chapter of the moon, it is not 54, as you see. It is 37. Do you see it? So, based on this, Muslims confirming this, not me, the miracle which Muslims they claim happened after 37 chapter of the Quran. Which means after that, it doesn't make sense if anyone asks Muhammad challenging him to give a miracle. Because Muhammad already did a miracle, correct? Are you getting my point? So after this point, the Arab, the Christians, the Jews, they cannot say to Muhammad, hey, make a miracle. Hmm. Hey, Darax, how are you? Hello, sir. Thank you for answering, by the way. I think I triggered you yesterday, so. Yeah, because, you know, I like to talk to adults, and sometimes you don't, you know, I mean, I want to speak to you as an adult, <laughs> but sometimes you don't speak to me as an adult, what I can do. No, I think I think we misunderstood each other. I wasn't agreeing with you. Okay, let's focus on this one. Do you, are you listening? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I was listening to you. I looked at the title. Okay. Um, yeah, I do believe that the moon split, yes. All right. So, yeah. do you agree with this, uh, The according to Revelation, as Muslims, they claim that the Quran, uh, there's a revelation order and there's the Quran order today. They are different. Do you agree with that? Wait, can you repeat that? Sorry. According to Islam today, all the Muslims agree that the Quran yeah. according to revelation, the order of it yeah. is different from the Quran is printed by the, between our hands today. Do you agree with that? 
Wait, why are we talking about the order of the Quran? I, I called you to talk about the moon splitting. Well, this is why so, we are talking about actually. This is why we are mentioning right, that. Right. So let's talk about the verse. Yeah, this is why I'm talking about. You see, talk to me as an adult, please. Um, I, I am. We, okay, I'm telling you because we we okay. can prove if it's true or not by speaking about the order. So we are in the topic. So you believe in the order, which is the Muslim they claim, and you are a Muslim. That okay. there's an order different from the order today, and this is the original order. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I, I guess the okay. Quran is not so this a is a Muslim religion. website. It's but called Tanzil.net. It says here wait, in front second. of me. I want to get on YouTube. One second, let me let me follow up with. Um... Okay. If you open YouTube, please be sure to mute YouTube so we don't have double sound. All right. Okay. Chapter thirty-seven is the real number of the chapter of the moon. According to you, to you Muslims. Okay. Okay. So, after thirty-six chapter, Muhammad he had a miracle happen to him, which is the splitting of the moon. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So after that point, if somebody says to Muhammad, "Why you don't do miracle?" he will say, "I did already." Correct. Well, it's see you were you were saying that you know it doesn't say exactly who did the miracle this might be a no, no this is not the question now focus with me focus with me i am after that you. point you know don't don't go back yet we can go back later let us finish this point so okay. after muhammad he had this miracle happen if i come to him second day i say hey how muhammad how come you don't have miracles he should say to me huh, are you blind? I did already one yesterday, so, correct? Allah, he, may, he may be too humble to claim it as his own. No, 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 this is not about do. humble. This is not about humble. This is about refuting lies. Because if I am accusing no. you, if I'm accusing Let's you. Let's talk about the one splitting, the, sir. You, no, the, 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 you see, don't force bad. me to hang up on you. You are acting like a kid. Stay in the level. Okay, Stay in the level, <laughs> please. Listen, if I say to you, why you don't do miracle? And I just did a miracle, I should say. Well, I just had one, correct? It could be a miracle of Allah, and He might not have wanted to claim it. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Oh, go so, you, the so you Muslim, I'm not so you Muslims. So okay, so you, okay, so you Muslims lying, saying that Muhammad yeah, never like claim, that. never claim it is a miracle of Allah because you just said it might be a miracle of Allah. No, like I, I cannot conjecture why uh, Muhammad, peace be upon him, didn't, uh, you know, didn't. Uh, Claim this as his own miracle. So, so I, I don't Muhammad know. be my witness, everybody. I, Muhammad I did not claim. Why okay, hold on. Lady, Muhammad, you, you just said something very important. Yes. Muslims in YouTube claim that Muhammad had a miracle. Muhammad never claimed one. Can you believe it? This is what she said. Okay. No, but I, again, like I, I still don't get what, what, why you have a problem with the claim that the moon has split. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not having. A, is, you see, it's not me who have a problem. It's you who have a problem because you are going to I go to. It is you who will go to hell, not me. Listen, 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 listen. Yeah. False prophet followers, they are the one who have the problem, not me. No, I don't. You just said problem. something very important. Muhammad did not claim that this is a miracle from his God. So why the verse in the Quran? No, no, no. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I so said what you said? Could, it could be that he didn't claim it as his own miracle. This is a miracle from Allah. Okay. So there is no reason why you're saying where that. You it know, says, like, where it says in the Quran that this is a miracle from Allah. Can you show me? It doesn't say. It doesn't specify. It says this split is the moon. The hour has come. Okay, and split I, will, is I will help you. It doesn't say, right? You just said that. But if no, we go, if we I'm, go, I'm hold on, hold, hold on. No, if we go to the second verse, if we go, if we go to the second verse, it says, okay. and when they see a sign, Mm -hmm. They would turn aside away. Does it say that? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. So this is a miracle, and it's a sign. But from who? Yes, a sign from Allah. Okay. So now, so the the uh, the the moon is split. Mm -hmm. But doesn't say from who. But we can assume he is. You know, the it's Quran saying it's Allah. Allah. Okay, that's wonderful. So after this point, anyone come to Muhammad and he say, Hey, Muhammad, how come you don't have any miracle? Anyone? It's not his miracle. It's the miracle of his God, Allah. No problem. So, All the miracle is the yes. miracle of Allah. No problem. We got it. We got it. We got it. Don't repeat okay. yourself, please. We know that Muhammad is not saying he is God. Supposedly, he is saying he is a prophet. Correct? Yes. He okay. Is. He is so when Musa says when Musa he did the miracle, it's not the miracle of Musa. It is Musa. It is God miracles which he gave to Musa. Correct? 
Yeah, through okay. the actions. All right. of so now Muhammad, he received a miracle from his God. To prove what? To prove that he is a prophet, correct? I have I have no information to say that, so well, I'm not. Gonna why why this. your God do miracle? Is he like working in the circus to do the show? It's such no, a short time. He's doing miracles for the people. He's not doing it for the prophet. You know, like the prophet okay. is not. We, you just not you just agreed with me because you are not listening. You just agreed with me. He is doing it to the people, I'm not to the prophet. He is doing why, it. Hold on. Why, why he is, is doing problem? it. Don't talk when I'm talking, so we can people can can understand you and me. So he did it to the people, so they can believe. Correct. Yes. Okay, so this is the purpose yes. of the miracle. It's people see and they can believe. When when yes. when somebody asks a Muslim, his name is Sister Fifi, uh, said that the reason no historian report this the moon splitting because it was for a few seconds. So is it is it meant for only people who live in that town to see it only like they were waiting a few seconds and happen and that's it? So there's no report I'm of such a thing. The whole universe, there's no historian yeah. said that we saw a moon splitting. Okay. This is a big event to happen. Oh. It's not something secret. And this is 600 years after oh. Jesus, where Perfect. there's okay. historian, so there's languages, there's Sorry. books, there's there's libraries. The, the Alexandria Library okay. is one of the biggest libraries okay. in the world. Hold on, hold on. So nobody reported. No, 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 secondly, so secondly, point. secondly. Let me, let me answer to you. No, no, secondly, you just, secondly. I want to answer to you. You just you just answer to what? Claim. Answer to what? Yeah, you just said you said. That the reason why you don't believe in it is because you said there is no record of it. So just because the Quran says it, we should not believe it, right? So let's go to your Bible, sir. Hmm. It says in Joshua chapter 10 hmm. that the sun stood still for an entire day. Hmm. How do you justify that? Where is the proof for any of that? Because it's really it's really weird because if the if the earth stops spinning around its axis, yeah. the entire universe would be destroyed. The entire earth would be destroyed. Hmm. So so what exactly is your point? Well the the, the, Why, po the point the point is that everybody was there, including the enemy, he was witnessing such a everybody miracle. Everybody was there when the when the earth stopped spinning yeah, and, around and, its and, axis. And secondly, secondly, earth, you know, hold you on, hold 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 on, let me ask. Answer you. Let me answer you. Let me answer you. You know, there is there is there is certain certain words. It can hold on, let me answer. You want me to answer yeah. or, or you wanna you wanna just keep I talking like a talking machine, like a disposal machine? Okay. When you were when you were a prophet, he said, the judgment day yes. the judgment day is near and the moon is split asunder. Did your God Allah mention that the moon put together again? Uh, well, it didn't, but you can yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so well, the same. It, it, now, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me, let me continue. So when the Bible yeah. speak about the sun froze in its place, yes. it can have many meaning. That's you know, time stop. Oh, hold, oh, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me answer. You want to hear yourself, or you want to hear me? You want to hear yourself? I will hear you. If I'll you want to hear yourself, I will stop talking. You give me the answer for it. What's that? Sorry. If you want to hear yourself talking about this uh, verse in the Bible, I will stop talking. Well, I'm you talk. Just, I'm just seeing the hypocrisy. Okay, the hypocrisy is yours. So the time is stop want, and God is stop the time. Hold on. Not. Let me answer, potato. The time, the time is stop and God. He can do that. This is my God, the one who made Mary. Okay, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just to show you the hypocrisy. The God who made okay. Mary have a son without a husband. He can do that. The God who made Perfect. the God who have a person his name I is guess. jesus hold on who can walk in water who can resurrect people from death who can make the blind see who can heal the leper who can tell you what you have in your house and this is all your quran he can do okay. that your god cannot yes, so you are yes, questioning no you can he cannot you cannot you see yes, you, yes, you just you said you just agree, you just agreed you just agreed yourself that you, Allah, you just agree. Hold you on. Just you just agree. You, you just tried to say this has a lot of meanings. Maybe no, no, no. I'm not saying it has a lot of meaning. I'm not saying it has just a lot of meaning. I I give you a completion for it. I say it. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Stupid. Shut up. Listen. I'm asking you if you want to speak smart. Let me talk. I will let you talk. I talk, you talk, all right? So I say that the God who made the blind see, he can make the sun stop. The God who made Jesus. Talk about the physical impossibility. Hold on, hold on. The God who access. made Jesus Let's come to us, which is God Himself, come to the earth. His name is Jesus. He, you, you, here we go. You start again. You will not let me talk. Are you going to right, let me okay. talk or you will not? I just, I just cannot stand your hypocrisy. Sir, oh, the why. hypocrisy is you. You're a prophet. He tell the Muslims not to touch women when they have their period. Then, then he put his penis between their legs. 
You want to show the hadith? The hypocrisy is to say not to pray toward the Kaaba, not to turn your ass when you are doing poo-poo and he was doing it. The hypocrisy is to say don't have four more than four wives and he have 13. The hypocrisy is to say be decent when he go to flirt with his own son wife. So shut up, let me continue. So now, so the God of the Bible is proven he can do things and the Quran confirmed that for the God of the Bible he can make the dead alive. He can make the blind see. He can make a woman have no child and no husband to have a child without husband. Now your God cannot do any of this and the proof in front of you. So listen, Wait, listen, what? listen, listen. Now let us go. He, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. Listen, listen. Here we go. Right? If there is any miracle in the Quran, okay, just to prove, the, just to prove your point. Just, just uh, there, there. Stop talking over me. Are you muting me, by the way? Like, I am are not you muting you. People are laughing at you. Okay. You, you are a talking machine. You are a radio, but you have no brain, as your prophet said. Your prophet he said that women are half a brain. I don't agree with him, <laughs> but maybe he's right about yeah, you. Listen, That's listen carefully. Listen carefully. The if there is any miracle That's beside that. this miracle in the Quran, if there is any miracle beside this miracle in the Quran, what's that? If there is any miracle, you see, you're not listening. You make me shout. And no, because you okay. aren't saying. I'm anything saying if there is any miracle, Muhammad did beside this miracle of the Quran, or his God did. Every miracle is by God, so I don't. This is not the question. This is not the question. Listen carefully. Yes. Don't yes. don't force me to hang up on you, please. If there is any <laughs> miracle, you do, you because do. you are just a kid, you are just being stupid, silly. I ask you about something, you answer about something else. I'm asking you. Know, if there is answer, any miracle, Allah He did in the time of Muhammad, beside this miracle in the Quran. Um, I mean, this is a pretty big miracle. So it's, a big, it's a pretty big, it's a pretty big, it's a pretty big, this is another question, I'm not asking you if it's big or small, what's wrong with you? Listen, listen, carefully, yeah. listen, slowly, slowly, yeah. slowly, you know. If there is any miracle Allah he did to Muhammad beside this one in the Quran. In the Quran? Uh -huh. In the Quran? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, well, I, I, off the top of my head, I cannot think of any now. Okay, no, forget about your head, Take, get it from your nose. What do you mean of the top of my head? What does that mean, guys? So, so guys, she know a miracle in the Bible. She knew that the sun stood, but she did not know anything about her prophet. Listen, listen. She did not know anything about her prophet. She have zero idea if her prophet. Okay, let me. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I will give you. Listen, shut up. Take talk a machine. I will give you fifteen minutes to call me back and to show me. One All miracle, right, one miracle yeah. beside this miracle in the Quran. Can you do that? Happen right. to Muhammad. Right. Is that fair? Gotcha. Is that fair? Yeah, that's fair. Okay, that's fair. Okay, call me in fifteen minutes. It's a challenge to all the Muslims to show me a miracle Muhammad he did, or Allah he did to him, beside this one they claim in the Quran. All the story you find is in the Hadith. There is nothing in the Quran. So when this Balbula she speak, blah, 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 how the God, he stopped the sun. We can, this is God. And all the people of Israel witness for it. Who witness for this? Not the enemy, not the friends. And even the verse itself doesn't say anything. It just said the moon split asunder, but doesn't say that Allah, he put it together again. So if Allah has split the moon, then the moon should be split already. And it's still until now. At least, let us say, it was his ability to make it stay in its place, no problem. God can do that, even though it's against physics. But he did not put it together again. The verse is so clear, it says, he split it. He never said, I put it back. But the moon is one piece which is a proven that all of this is a lie from the beginning. Number two, if Muhammad, he made a miracle or his God did a miracle, then he should say, well, I did miracle for you. Anytime they say to him, why you don't do miracle? He should say, I did already. Are you blind? Didn't you see how the moon split? My God split it for you. But if we read the whole Quran, the entire Quran, we will not find one time Muhammad saying, I did, or my God split the moon for you. 
Remember, this is the chapter 37 in the original Quran, which the Muslim they play with. Which means we have long list of chapters after that. Anytime anyone say to Muhammad, Where is your proof that you are a prophet? He will say, Well, the moon is split. Correct? And let us assume for the sake of argument that Muhammad he had this miracle. What is the proof that even the God of Muhammad is the one who did that? Let us say I, I am on earth and the moon is split. Let us say the sun is gone. What does it have to do with my God? How I can prove it? You see how silly this argument? But now we gave this lady the talking machine 15 minutes and not only 15 minutes, I will give you 15 years. And not only 15 years, 15,000 years to show me a miracle Muhammad he did in the Quran beside this. Is that the only orphan miracle Muhammad he have? Yet this miracle does not say that Muhammad he did anything. All what happened, he saw an eclipse. And if we go in the hadith, you will see that Muhammad, when he see an eclipse, he go crazy. And even the Muslim today, they have a special prayer for the eclipse. Is that true or I'm making things up? Read and love. She said that the Prophet recited Quran in a loud voice in a prayer at the eclipse. We've been ordered to free a slave at the time of the lunar eclipse. Do you see it? Aisha reported that Allah Apostle he recited loudly in the Eclipse prayer. There is a prayer, it's called the Eclipse prayer. Can you believe it? And he had a special bowing down to the Eclipse for time. For time and for worship. Eclipse. And actually, it was the Eclipse Muhammad is speaking of And this is the proof. There is no Quran. There is no moon split. Muhammad, he said, there is 10 things have to happen, 10 signs, for the judgment day. What, what are they? The smoke, that the judge, that the judge supposed to mean the Antichrist. The beast, which means a jassasa. The rising sun from the west, which is very funny, we explained it before. And the descent of Jesus, son of Mary. Okay. Gog and Magog. Land is light in three places. One in the east, one in the west, and one in Arabia. But where is the eclipse? He forgot it. Anyone understand why this is stupid of Muhammad? Because in the Quran he said that this is a sign of the judgment day. <laughs> in the hadith it's not. And by the way, when Muhammad he say a number, you better count. Like here he says 10 signs. Are they 10 signs? Count them. Because always I find that when Muhammad he say 10, usually they come as 9 or 8. Let us count this one. The first one, the smoke. The second one, the Dajjal. The third one, the beast. The fourth is the rising sun from the west. The fifth is Jesus. 
The six is Gog and Magog. The seven is the landslide. And the eight. Uh, this is this is the part of the landslide. There are eight. Where is the ten? Did you notice with me how stupid this statement is? He said there are 10. Anyone see the 10? Muhammad always he do that. He said there is 10, we find there are 7 or 8. He said there is 9, he, it come to be 6. But he just said 10. Where is the 10? The liar himself, he do not know how to make up a lie. At least make 10, man. So there is no 10. And he forgot to count the eclipse. What happened? Muhammad was a crazy man about the eclipse and he believed it is the sign of the judgment day. That's all what happened. I don't want to continue until we find if our friend here, Barax, she, she is searching Google. Prophet Google enter now after what it's already 10 minutes. She could not find any miracle in the Quran. Muhammad he did. Can you believe it? A prophet who spent his life claiming to be a prophet, he have zero miracle. How that can be possible? Let us call her back because I want to continue with my topic. She will answer so lady did you find any miracle in the quran beside this one well yeah i mean i sh this should have not slipped my mind but the quran itself is a miracle of, of muhammad okay guys did you hear this thank you very much the quran, hold on hold on hold on hold on what's wrong with you what's wrong with you you just let me make a comment please you see, let us make an agreement let's have a civil talk because i'm shouting you are shouting people they cannot hear you Please, please, you just say it. You don't need explanation. You said the Quran is a miracle by itself, correct? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yes. Be my witness. I want you to be. You promise me you will not change your mind after two seconds. You promise? Of course not. I, I can give you a different miracle. No, no, no. no. That's so just wait. Let us go by this one first. If the Quran oh. is a miracle, how the Quran in chapter 17 saying that Allah refrain from giving miracles? The mic is yours. Self, what do you mean like he he um it's because he said that because the prophets you know people had had um ignored the signs from allah from prophets that's why this, he is, said not he was saying, this is not the question not, this is not the question this is not question focus slow down it says yes. here nothing has prevented us from sending the miracles yeah, it's because people had ignored the signs from Allah. That's okay. why it says. Okay, it, 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 I'm not honest asking you why. Because just focus with me, please. As long he is confirming that he is a prevented, he did not send the sign. If the Quran is a sign that the one who then, then the one who said this verse is a stupid, because by saying it, he just made a miracle. So when he said, no, when he said, no, oh, just uh, yes, let me so finish, let me finish, process. I will give you the mic. What's wrong with you? Okay. Don't you want to okay, hear my, uh, my comment so you can give me the answer? All right, go ahead. Do you, have a, do you have a remote control? Listen, as long as I'm saying nothing prevented, pre 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 prevented me 
from doing that, that means I did yes. not do that, correct? Yes, Allah refrained from sending miracles because people ignored the signs. Thank you. So Allah, he refrained, so he did not send any miracle. No, no. Be, the, see, uh, the Prophet, <laughs> peace be upon him, is, is a seal of all, all the prophets. That question. Don't forget about the seal. So, now. Forget so the about Quran, the seal. The Quran did, you say, a, did you just say? Did you just say? Did you just say? Hold on. The Prophet, on, the prophet is a seal of the Prophet. Who cares about this now? I'm asking you. Did, did you just say Allah, he refrained from sending miracles? He refrained? Did you use the word refrain? Yes. Okay. So he did refrain from sending miracles. Did he or he did not? He he refrained, yes. Okay, that's mean he said no miracle. No, the Quran is not just a miracle, it's also a moral compass for that's people. That's another question. And that's it's, another, it's don't say it's another topic. Okay, yes, the Quran is a recipe for salad. The Quran is a recipe talking machines. You see how stupid you are. The second you find yourself not, in trouble, I'm not you keep talking so you, people will not hear what I'm saying, what you are saying. Listen carefully. No, you just no, say, no, I'm not. You just say, you keep interjecting, you keep in listen, you just say that Allah refrained from sending miracles. So he refrained. That means this verse is not from yes, Allah. This is the final verse, revelation, sir. Do you understand? Let me this talk. Is, I will give you the mic. This is the final I will, revelation. I will give you. Okay, let's make an agreement. I will give you two minutes. I will talk to her for one minute. Is that, fi is that fair? All right, go ahead. Okay. So you said Allah refrained from sending miracles. That means Allah, he sent zero miracle. I will give you the rest of my time to you. Two minutes. Go ahead. All right, so I am saying that the Prophet is the seal of all Prophets. The Quran is the seal of all the revelations that came before it. So mm -hmm. it's a miracle, but it's also a moral compass for us. It corrects all the other revelations before it. So we can consider it to be a miracle, but it's also a, a revelation from Allah for us to follow him, to obey his commands, and to, to have a glimpse into his nature. So I don't see what, what exactly your problem is with claiming that this Quran is is a miracle from him this is the most stupid answer ever i heard no, because i have nothing to do it's, not on, it's, it's my time now it's my time it's to talk we made an agreement let, listen, let, you, let, let, minutes, right? let me talk you just said you just finished your talk. did you finish or you did not finish okay, okay go ahead okay say what you need to so say. who care if this is a composing guide this blah blah this is another question allah he yes. refrained from sending miracles he refrained that's mean he sent we agreed one minute for, for me two minutes for okay. you what's wrong with you all right go ahead sorry so as long allah he refrained and you claim that the quran itself is a miracle that yes. means the one who said this sentence is a fool because by making such a sentence he just made a miracle but he just confirmed that he refrained from sending the miracle. In the same time, that confirmed that the miracle which Muslim they claim in the chapter of the moon is a fraud because Allah refrained from sending the miracle. The mic is yours. Okay, so the Quran is the last revelation and it's the last miracle from Allah. So it's it's the seal for all the revelations that's come before it. So that's why there is no contradiction in the verse that you just quoted and the Quran being revealed to Muhammad. Peace be upon. Peace be upon. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> you are repeating the same thing. You are stupid. Listen, I, I am just stupid. Say, no, sir. Yeah, you are stupid. You are you just repeating I don't the first contradiction. You just repeat. Sorry. You just repeat the same you. thing you, you said. You, a can minute you ago. Let me talk. Can you Let me talk. What's wrong with this woman? I the, contradiction. Just, that's why. You are a turkey. You are a turkey. Turkey, bo 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 you chicken. What's wrong with you? We said two minutes for you, one minute for me. When you are done, I will talk so people can hear you and can hear me. As long, no, don't call me, don't call me. I'm just too stupid even to waste my time with you. As long Allah here refrain. The Quran is the final message of Allah, and the Prophet is the seal of the Prophet, and then this is the seal. He, the guy he just said, I'm not going to do a miracle. And it is you who said, and you chose this translation, he refrained. So, how Allah he say, I refrain? Yet he just 
made a miracle according to Muslims. That is a contradiction. Because if Allah refrain from making miracle and the excuses, people will not believe in those miracles. We have Mr. Joe uh, No No. You know Mr. No No? The guy from Afghanistan. No, 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 no. Okay, I will join. Okay. Hello, Mr. No, no, no. Are you there? Hi, CP. Yes, is Mansoor with you? I am Mansoor. Oh, you are yeah. Mansoor. Okay, Mansoor. So, you, did you hear the conversation? I heard the conversation. Okay, what do you think uh, about CP. this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, CP. Uh -huh. uh, I'm asking you, yeah. would you be gentleman enough to uh, not to cut my conversation or interfere? I will give you two, or, I will give you two minutes, one minute for me. How fair I can be more than this. Go ahead. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. But I am saying, I'm saying, as, as long as I'm not finished, if you no, inter minute, interfere, See, because we don't no, want, no, no, we don't, want to, yeah. we don't want a person to talk forever. N not me, not you, right? So people they want to have a yeah. conversation between me and you, correct? Yeah, during during my conversation, no, during no, my conversation. If you say, if you say one I, I thing, if you say one one dot, you lose the debate. Okay, you lose well, the debate. I'm not debate. debating you. You're just, saying, a, you're just a kid. Okay. Do you know? Okay. okay. Did you did you find? Do you know how to say your prophet name correctly? Go ahead. Okay, did you did you find uh, the the three gods in Trinity for me? Here we go. It's you last time who called me. He said you believe in three okay. gods, yet it's one god. So you you are stupid. And as long as you mention that, what if I get you busted from the Quran about it? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, because your stupid Quran say that the Christian believe in one God. His name is Jesus. So why you are lying about your God? You have no respect to your God, and you are just a kid. Because are you okay, saying you're, you're are insulting. you are you saying I am not insulting? Because you are the one who said we believe in three gods when the Quran says no. The Christian believe mm -hmm. that the Messiah is Allah. Do you agree with the Quran or not? Mm -hmm. Aha, aha, aha. Do you, very do you agree with the Quran or not? You, you, you obviously, are very, yeah. obviously, yeah. you don't agree with the Quran. Are you saying you got Allah lie when he said I'm, the Christian I'm believe? Too, I'm. Do okay. You, do are you, you done? Do you agree? With are the you Quran? done? Do you agree with the Quran or not? Are you done? Go okay. Ahead. Go ahead. Let me let me finish. Hmm. The Quran say, "Do not say Trinity." Do not say Trinity. This is not a question. In another place. This is not a question. Oh, why? Why not? Why not? Why are you? Why are you? Why are you? Because you are changing topic. This is not a question. Does no. The no, 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 say, no, no, no. Does the Quran say I am, that the, the I am Christ Mr. is no. Allah? <laughs> does the Quran say that the Christian believe the Christ is Allah? Yes or no? You just want yes or no, and to, to make just people fool, and you are just interfering oh, and putting so you your own words. If you say yes, yes, you get yourself busted. This is why you don't want to say yes. Absolutely not. Absolutely they not. Say a fool yes person, no. will, the a fool person say, will answer. Did the, did the Quran say Allah is the Messiah according to the Christian? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. A fool person will answer yes or no this like this this type of so question. You are, you are just making. I will go with you. So you are saying your God is a fool because he is the one who said yes you, or no. No, it is your God who said yeah, the Christian I, I they say Allah. CP. The Christian they CP. say that the Messiah is Allah. So you are saying whoever CP. say that he is a fool. Allah is a fool. Ah, uh, uh -huh. just you. You are expert in insulting. You are just expert in poisoning people. Okay, just I, I did not, uh, you, I did not insult you because if I'm insulting, I will use the words of Muhammad as an example. Go and bite the penis of your father. That's what your prophet said. Did I absolutely. say that to you? Absolutely. That that's that is also that is also absolutely wrong. You are just misinterpreting everything. That that is not Islamic. That is. I am telling. That, that that's absolutely wrong what what you are taking the the hadith from uh -huh. the sunnah.com or another another place uh -huh. that is absolutely wrong and that is that that is made uh, from anti-islamic sites uh -huh. I, I i want so yeah, yeah, yeah. Com, I want the people sunnah I, want, I want the people sunnah.com is owned okay. by the dean show is okay. anti-islamic now there are uh, there are a lot of misinformation about the Islam and they, they are so, trying so to they, people. So those yeah, people in the Dean show they are anti-Islamic according to you. I'm telling this is not this is not our, uh, when you are saying this, so is, not the this is not the question. So Sahih Muslim no. is anti-Islamic. Absolutely to you. not. 
that is that is man made that that is man made that is only for making uh, ah, some some uh, man made man made i like that uh, so anything uh, we find uh, in the in the hadith or in the quran you're just you are just, just so just, let us go hadith let, let what us, are go, you? Let us okay. go to our topic potato you are just a potato okay. so let us go back to our topic okay, okay. let me let me so let me finish for this did allah this? refrain did are, allah refrain stop changing topics like a monkey did allah refrain from sending signs yes or no Are you done with your question? Go ahead. If you interfere, you lose. If you interfere, I want that. One that you lose. I will interfere when you start talking about something else have not to do with my topic. No, Go ahead. no, absolutely not. Then you don't have right. You are just potato. If if my you are if, just a, yeah, so I, 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 you, okay, I so, provide. So you just said I'm going to talk and I'm going to change the topic. All right, correct. That's what you are saying. Siti. When I'm giving you the answer, okay. you don't have right to to to, to okay, give me the answer. Irrele irrelevant. I am not asking you not to give the answer. I'm asking you, please give us the answer. Did Allah refrain from sending miracle? CP, let the, this is my term. This is my term. If I answer you irrelevant answer, irrelevant. It is that when that's not that's relevant to, are, the, to that's your mean, question. That's people, let, that's let people decide. Drunk. Let people decide. That's not mean you. You're drunk too not much. You don't have right, and you are wasting my time. You don't have right. So are you going to no, answer don't. or not? Are you going to answer or not? Absolutely. Okay, when go. Allah is giving, well, Allah is giving signs. It is not like that. That when sign is everything like miracles. Hmm. Allah is giving signs every time. every time because hmm. for for the guidance of people hmm. allah is giving uh, signs for the people to, in order to be guided that is a different sign hmm. when the prophets are doing miracles hmm. that is a different sign that is hmm. specific signs for every prophet and even the prophets don't have right hmm. uh, to choose the miracles for themselves allah is giving for them okay when allah is giving allah is already giving the the uh, the signs in, uh, for the people in order to be guided when allah says that i refrained to give the signs for that that particular people or that time people it is only for that time that is not contradiction that is absolutely not contradiction allah is giving and allah is saying that i have not, i have refrained for uh, giving the signs to that people to those people that that was specific for that time not for this not for all time mm. when allah is giving the 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 signs for the or the miracles for the prophets mm. the prophets do not have right to choose uh one thing okay. one thing that? and that that's the point yeah okay. no no Hold on, uh, don't answer, don't, answer, don't, 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 don't waste don't don't waste my time don't oh, waste my time, my time. don't waste my time i i gave you are just wasting my time in order to hold on listen abdul listen you just said allah he refrained to give miracle signs at that time but isn't it the moon sign happen at that time Why you are interfering when I'm done, not done with my answer? Because people want to hear a conversation, not a Google machine. So you said at that time, you keep repeating at that time, at that time, at that time. Why Muhammad? He lived. He lived for 10 million years. He lived. You know, he was a prophet for less than 20 years. So at that time, yes, at that time, Allah did not give a miracle. At the time of Muhammad, He gave zero miracle, and you are the one who confirmed that. So that's mean that the sign or the miracle of the moon splitting is a fraud your mic that is absolutely wrong a hey, people a hey, hey, my brothers my sisters cp is interfering look look and pay attention to him now he he is interfering right now if he is not gentleman enough he will interfere but if he is gentleman enough and he is honest he will let me answer this question do you want some the, tissue do you the, want some tissue if you want some tissue let me yeah. know because you are crying now i just got I am, your bus no i'm not crying i just CP. got your bus and then the cp cp interfering you are CP. interfering me now so interfere okay. listen you call me CP. to talk to science. me not to talk to yourself science don't science hold medical st stupid science st 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 stupid idiot hold listen You are, you are just an idiot. You, you just said, Allah, he refrained from sending miracle to specific people at that time. At that time. At that time. And you repeated more than four times repeating yourself. At that time, this miracle happened. At that time, Allah gave Quran. At that time, Allah sent Muhammad. And at that time, Allah did not send any miracle. This is what you just said. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Read, read in the context. Everything in the context is very clear. It's, you it's very that. clear. When you are picking, when you are picking, see, I'm not picking. It's words, you who said that. It's you who just said that. It's you who said that. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No. Okay. Repeat it again. Do you, do you, Please, do you, I write. Do you want me to play? Do you want me to replay the video? People will die laughing. Honestly, I can replay it. No, no, no. 
They will not. They will not. La- they will not laugh. Okay. Absolutely, read the context. You, it's very clear. When the context, it's very clear. I'm asking you about what you say. Don't read it. I'm asking you. Is it you who said at that time <laughs> Allah didn't send miracle at that time to the specific people at that time Allah did not give that miracle and you repeated more than four times. So at that I'm time, I'm not talking. At that time, I'm not talking. Uh, you are not. You're, you're just. I'm not you're, talking. You just said that. I'm not talking. At I'm that talking. time, not... Allah did not send anything. This means the Quran itself is from Allah because if the Quran is from Allah and the Quran is a miracle and you just said at that time Allah did not send miracle at that time Allah refrained from sending miracle that's mean Allah he refrained even from sending the Quran so who was sending it go ahead uh-huh. now you are done you are done and yeah, you I'm are letting me co- answer I'm this drinking for my you. coffee go I ahead. am telling you I am telling you that this this uh, uh, sending or refraining hmm. for for the signs these are talking about the specific times I'm not talking about the Prophet Muhammad's time on the specific times for specific people for specific Quran is talking about every time about the time of Noah about about the time of Saleh about the time of other uh, other qoms or tribes these these are tri- but you are selecting every every words out of context so the people will not understand so when the people will be fooled that oh yeah this this is really a contradiction this is absolutely not i ask all people to read everything and ask a scholar to translate for you that is not a contradiction select in everything it will it will be clear but i ask my muslim brothers Are and sisters done? to no i ask my muslim brothers and sisters <laughs> not to talk to cp because he is a liar <laughs> okay and making you feel full okay and i okay. I, me, I ask can I talk, can I talk, guys christian prince you make you look like a fool he will make you look like a fool did you hear it now let me show everybody that you are the biggest fool you just said that this is only for a certain time and then you count for me prophet until now you just said this is only for a specific time, for a specific people, for a specific blah, blah, blah. and then you go back all the way to the time of Adam, you idiot. Which means Allah that? have no miracle that? even to Noah, uh, even to uh, any of those uh, prophets, because he refrained. This is what you just uh-huh, said. Uh-huh. You are the one who you said are, that. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let, so, let me talk. You see, he's interfering. Twister, he's interfering. Twister, he's interfering. Twister. Should I should I cry like Mr. Twister? He's interfering. He's interfering. You are Mr. To, Mr. Twister, yeah. I just twisted your arm and your <laughs> neck and, and your tail in, your, in my hand. So you went back all the way to Noah, and you are the one who said, this is for a specific time, Christian Prince. This is not for just certain, this is a specific I, time. And then you went, you count Saleh, you count the prophets, you count even now, even to Noah. That's mean from the time of Noah, and at the time of Muhammad, Allah refrained from sending signs. That's mean, miracle of Isa, is not the miracle of Allah. Miracle of Noah is not the miracle of Allah. Miracle of the guy you call him Saleh, which we do not know who he is, not the miracle of Allah. So all the fraud of Islam is got busted by you. Thank you. You're mine. Hey, uh, CP, CP, can you hear me? No, I don't. Are you talking? Uh, no. Yes, I'm say, talking. Say one. Say and one. I am telling say you. One. Say one. Yeah, I am telling you. Even even the the. Even Jesus Christ has said that I can do nothing by my own. Okay. I do it, yeah. Hmm. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just for my only for to seek not my will, only uh, to seek my Father's will. Okay. This is written. This is verbatim words from uh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ hmm. could not do any any miracle. Hmm. Couldn't do any miracle in Book of Acts. Don't change topic. Don't change topic. Don't, don't change topic. Don't oh, change no, no. Topic. I'm talking. I'm okay. talking to you. I'm okay. talking no, no, to you. you, are, you are, first of all, you just you got but yourself. Uh, absolutely. Did, now, you, okay, you are, did you believe in the verse no. you just said to me from the Bible? Did you believe in it? I am telling you that this that's your book. No, that's no, no. Your book. I'm you asking you, that. do you believe? Do you believe in what just you quote for me? This is to be true. From the from the Islamic point of view, I believe that all the prophets, all the messengers who did the no, miracles no, 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 was the, the only verse, from Allah. The verse you just quote for me from the Bible, from the book of John, do you believe it's true? Jesus was saying, I can do nothing of my own. That is matching with my Quran. I believe that. Okay. Which, but you, whatever, okay, thank whatever, you. Thank whatever. You. Okay, thank you. So whatever Jesus, he said, whatever. I am doing the work of my father. In the same chapter, and even the verse you quote for me, he mentioned the word my father. 
So even in the verse you are trying to use, it is getting you busted because Jesus is still speaking that I am yes. speaking of the authority which is given to me from my Father, which is your God. So you did to prove yourself wrong again. And now we go back to zero. Yes, people. Allah, he yes, refrain, people. Allah, he refrain from sending miracle. Did Allah send ah. the, did Allah did the miracle of the moon splitting? Yes or no? I am. T uh, uh, do not do not split my words and do not interfere. Okay, not? let people Allah decide. Split, let let people Allah, decide. If for Allah us. split the let moon, people. I can split your words. What split the words? It's you who said this is happening in a okay. specific time. And by the way, if there is any interpretation uh, in the word, support what you are saying. CP, you are just twisting. Yeah, yeah, uh, you are just a twister if any, and poisoning. If there is any interpretation you depend on, or this is your fantasy interpretation for chapter 17, verse number 59. Okay. What the book of what the book of Acts chapter if two, there is verse any, number twenty two? There is any interfering, there interfering, is any, interfering. Are, are to <laughs> He's topic. not letting. You are a bit. He's not letting you people. See, guys, so now, hey, okay, so now, guys, guys, will, okay, guys. He's saying, not letting okay, me. Are you saying he's just interfering? Hold on. Are you he's saying, just afraid. Are you saying you don't want to talk about? He's just afraid of answers. Okay, I am. He's just afraid of answers. People, are you afraid? You are afraid. You are cutting my words to finish the topic. You are. Are you you are afraid of my answers. Are you, afraid? you are afraid of my are answers. You, afraid you are of afraid of my topic? answers. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let you me are ask afraid you. of my okay. answers. Let me ask you. You, you said, are afraid of my you answers. You, want to read you are afraid of my answers. Of, you want to you are just to, oh, out of context. Let me, let me talk. You said you want to read for me from the book of Revelation, correct? You are afraid of my answers. Okay. You are not letting let me. As soon as I start, let, let us, you interfere. As soon as I start, you, are you interfere. You changing the topic. You are a coward. So Allah you are refrain, just, Allah refrain people, from sending people signs. People, so, people will decide. So, people sure, will decide. Sure people will decide. Sure people are laughing. Look, people, people are, will people, decide. People are dying. People will decide. People not you. Dying. Not you. So if you are is, not a judge. If there is any we, we, interpretation, it is agreeing with you, or you are making your own fiction interpretation for chapter 17, verse 59. CP, let the people decide, not you. you I am debating with you. Are I am you answering. Are you making your own fiction Islamic religion in your Islam, or this is what the majority of the Muslims believe about what you said to me? Allah, he refrained from sending miracle from the time of Noah all the way to the time of Saleh. Is that interpretation of your own or Islamic interpretation? CP, are you afraid? Are you afraid of my answers? For everybody is afraid of you. You are you are so sore. You are afraid. You, are you so, will cut my words. You, so you will sore, cut so my cards. We have to be afraid. You, I answer. So yeah, you are afraid you, of my I answers. Use, because, uh, uh, like, listen, know. Abdul, uh, just shut up. Don't 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 forget to hang up on you, please. S speak like a man. Okay. It's you who said. Okay. It is you who said, not me. Why you are slow on your swallow on your tongue? It is you who said mm -hmm. that Allah refrained from sending miracles from the time of Noah all the way to the time of Sarah. Correct. So. Do you have any proof of what you claim that this is what the Muslim believe? Mm -hmm. Okay, just let me answer this for you. But I, I'm telling people, people should go and research and ask the scholars, not CP, because he's twisting and he is poisoning you. I am get lost. Go and ask the scholar, you stupid idiot. So, how come you don't quote the scholars explaining this verse? Do you see the stupidity? As long you said, go and ask the scholar. So why you are fabricating interpretation, saying that Allah he refrained from the time of Noah all the way to the time of the guy you call him Saleh from sending miracle. That's mean all the miracle of Noah and whatever between since then. Are not from Allah. You said that. So Jesus, Jesus, he said, and the book of Revelation, they are desperate to change the topic. Cowards. And the more they defend, the more they got their God busted. 
So Allah refrained from sending miracle. The first girl she said, with the Quran is not only a miracle, it's a book of guidance. Who okay, cares? We know it's a book. But you Muslim, you claim that this is a miracle. So the one who said that verse is a stupid. Now let us continue, because obviously those people, they are just making up answers. They have nothing to say. And when you say, ask the scholars, why you don't let the scholars call us instead of you making things up? Chapter 17 is not a chapter 17. It is a chapter 50, according to the revelation as Muhammad he claimed. Chapter what? Which one? Fifty-four is not fifty-four. Fifty-four in the original book is Al-Hijr. In the new, in, in the in the original Quran. But the chapter of the moon is thirty-seven. So thirty-seven happened long before the verses we are reading about Allah refraining from sending miracles. This verse, or this is what clean miracle happened, long before chapter 17 in the Quran today. Are you getting the point? So, when this liar, he said, it's a specific time. And then when we said to him, also oh, in the time of Muhammad, a specific time, Allah saying, he said, okay, this is getting me busted. So let us make it before Muhammad. But as you see, this is something Muhammad received in the date of 37 chapter after the first day Muhammad became supposed to be a prophet. And Allah, after saying 37 chapters, saying we refrain from sending miracles, which means at that point, Allah confirming we have zero miracles. And at that day, and what make it more horrible, if we search in the Quran, we will find tons of verses, they keep asking Muhammad to make a miracle. Chapter 6, verse number 37. They say, why has no miracle signed bestowed on him? So the Quran witness and the Quran confirm that until that day, nobody saw a miracle from Muhammad. And guess what? Chapter 6 in the Quran today is a chapter 55 in the Quran the original according to Muslims remember I'm not making my own claim according to Muslims chapter 6 is a chapter 55 Al-An'am so the Muslims they change the location of the chapter and they move it from being 55 as number in the original Quran, if we can claim that there is such a thing as exist, and they make it a chapter six, which mean chapter 55, which is chapter came after obviously chapter 37, It came 18 chapter after the chapter of the moon. And it's still the people saying, how come his God did not send a sign? And the Quran confirmed in this verse, Allah did not send a sign which they knew of. Read carefully. They say, 
why has no miraculous signs been bestowed on him from on the on high by the his sustainer by his god say behold god has the power to bestow on any sign from the high you must a human unaware of this unaware they saw nothing so the quran confirmed that way after the chapter of the moon eighteen chapter after the moon Muhammad now is coming to the end of his life and yet there is zero sign from the Abdul Muhammad Are you following me? Are you taking notes? Are you taking notes? If after 18 chapter, the people saying, how come he don't have a miracle from his God? And his God agree that he can do a miracle, but they, don't, they are not aware of any. With the moon split, supposedly everybody is aware of. Are we following? Let us continue. We are not done yet. Things is getting more horrible to Muhammad. What about chapter 10, verse number 20? Again, the Arab they say, How come he don't have any miracle on him? Like what? Muhammad is still he don't have miracle on him, brother? Yes, brother. Which chapter is that? Chapter 10. But in the original Quran, this is a chapter number 51. Like what the heck? So after 51 chapters, still the people asking, how come he have zero miracle? Chapter 51 came long after chapter 37. There's 14 chapter between them. And the people are still asking the same question. How come this potato Abdul Muhammad, he has zero miracle and the Quran confirm? Huh, wait! Wait, he will send miracle. Do you see it? Wait, and we will wait with you. Do we even need more proof? They challenge Muhammad to have miracle. How come you don't have miracle? Did the Quran say we did the moon splitting for you? No. He says, Oh Allah, he can't do miracle. Just wait, we will wait with you. Allah will wait for them for Allah to make a miracle. Can you believe it? Can the Muslim refute the Quran? Don't you know you cannot refute me because I'm not showing my words. This is the Quran. The Quran saying, Well, Allah can do miracle, wait, and we will wait with you. Who will wait with them? Allah will wait with them. Allah will wait for Allah to make a miracle. This is the most stupid statement ever. And the translation here is saying, you know, if you change the translation, because this is Muhammad Asad, Muslim, they like him, is just a potato. If you change the translator, you will see something very funny happening. They say, why not a sign sent down from his Lord? Say, the unseen is only for Allah. Then wait, ye I too will wait with you. By the way, Muhammad is waiting for the miracle to happen. 
The Arab are waiting for the miracle Muhammad that will happen. And still this is happening long after the moon chapter. Muhammad did not say to them, you stupid idiot, did you see we split the moon for you? His God saying, let us wait. <laughs> wait until when? <laughs> Are we done yet? No. We can stay doing this until tomorrow. Chapter 13, this chapter, I like chapter 13, especially cha chapter 13, verse number 13, where it says that the thunder is an angel and he beat the cloud with the fire belt. This is a different story. In chapter 13, verse number 7, they say the same thing. They are asking the God of the Abdul, the first Abdul, the biggest Abdul, Allah. Then believer, they say, why not a sign sent down from his Lord? What the answer? Oh, the answer, I'm here just to uh, warn you not to make signs. Do you see it? But how long chapter 13 came after chapter 7, chapter, sorry, chapter uh, 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 37? Any Muslim can tell us? Chapter 13 is a chapter 96, which means obvious a few months or maybe a year or two before Muhammad he passed away. So Muhammad he spent his life, and now this is number 96. 90 what? 96. Still, Muhammad has zero miracle. Any Muslim have a comment? Chapter 96. This is the end of Islam. That's it. The end of the Quran. There's no, you know, the Quran is 114 chapters. So 96 chapter pass, and still the people are saying the same question. How come this potato prophet, he has zero miracle? The answer is, oh, it's not for you to do miracle, it are just a warner. Do you see it? This is the refutation of the Quran, not my refutation. The stupid Quran getting all the Abdul busted all together. Any Muslim have a comment? When Mr. Sarsour, he spoke to us, and he go and he speak, and in the speed of light, they try to change the topic. You three gods. You three gods, no, you know, you three gods. Even your stupid Quran says we worship one God. You idiot. Somebody saying, read Tafsir Ibn Kathir, your answer is there. Okay, I'm going to go, hold on, where is the guy who said that? I think he's a Muslim. Are you a Muslim, my friend? You're the one you call yourself Scott? Are you a Muslim? Uh, who uh, now who is the one who said read me Kathir? Hold on. Somebody says. Ah, sorry, different, different person. Read Ibn Kathir. I think this guy is from Indonesia, maybe. Mr. Light Yagami. Light Yagami, I want you to tell me, are you sure you want me to read Ibn Kathir? Can you confirm for me in the chat that this is your request as a Muslim? And you approve it. 
please let me know because usually when the Muslim asked me to read tafsir and when we put the tafsir for him he bite his fingers and he say I did not ask for it Ibn Kathir is just a human are you there okay he said yes let us go to Ibn Kathir bingo chapter 13 verse number 7 Ibn Kathir let us open the website of the Abdul give me a second All right, this is Ibn Kathir. Don't tell me I don't believe in it, it's your request. Allah state that out of their disbelief and the stubbornness that the idolaters ask why not a miracle sent down to the messenger from the Lord, just like earlier messengers. For each instance, the disbelievers were began being stubborn when they asked the prophet to turn a safa into a gold or to remove mountains from around them and to replace with the green fields and river. Allah said, nothing stop us from sending ayat to people except people deny them. You are just a warner. <laughs> so this is the explanation. The Quran confirmed that Muhammad has zero miracle and this is the interpretation saying the same. You are just a warner. It's not for you to have any miracle. This is Ibn Kathir. So people asking Muhammad to do miracle and they are, you are naming that they ask him to do certain things. Let us say they ask him to make a mountain from gold. Okay, how come in the time of Jesus according to the Muhammadan, the people ask Jesus to send food from the sky. That is impossible. To feed thousands of people. How come Allah he do it right away? How come Allah did not say to Isa, oh, you are just a warner, okay? How come Allah did not say to Isa, oh, you know what? I refrain from giving you miracles. There's a chapter in the Quran, it's called the chapter of Al-Ma'idah. Al-Ma'idah means the table or the table of food. According to the Quran, the people they ask Isa, chapter 5, verse 112, uh, tell, tell uh, God to send us a table from food to eat everybody, to feed, to feed everybody. Can you God do that? This is the Quran. Can your God do that? Let us go to Ibn Kathir and Laf, chapter 5, verse 112. Did Ibn Kathir say to Isa, or according to Ibn Kathir, Allah said to Isa, or oh, Isa, I cannot do that to you, Isa. Hello? You are just a word. No. Right away, the miracle happened. Immediately. And not only that, he sent to, the, to him seven sandwiches, each one of it have a wheel. I like to eat wheel as a sandwich. The whole wheel, brother? Yes, brother, the whole wheel together, brother. That's deep. Hmm? So, can you, God, send food from the sky? Uh... Okay, let us see if the God, suppose this is the same God, he will say to Isa, sorry, I cannot do that. Or he will do it immediately. This is a Mikathir again. The same one you asked me to read his interpretation. And remember the Hawarin, which is a very stupid word. We Christian, we never heard of it. Suppose those are the disciples of Jesus. They said, Oh, Isa, son of Maryam, can your Lord send down us a ma'idah, a table full of food from heaven? 
Isa said, have taqwa of Allah, fear Allah. You are indeed believers. Okay, they said, when we wish to eat, therefore, to be stronger in faith. Aha! Uh -huh. So this table of food will strengthen their faith. And to know that you have indeed told us the truth. So if you cannot do it, you are a scam. Correct? This is Ibn Kathir. Then Allah, he sent the food to Isa. The table that the food on it. Allah, he sent down the table and the food in it as a clear proof and equivalence, sorry, equivocal evidence. So how come in the time of Jesus, right away the proof come and the proof and the evidence? In the time of Muhammad, Allah cannot do it. Do you see it? Someone's his name is a critical mind. Uh, my friend, text me in Skype. I will call you immediately. Critical mind. Just tell me that you are a critical mind. Let us see what do you have in the box. So Allah, he sent a miracle to prove that Isa sent by him. And by the way, the Ibn Kathir in Arabic is different from Ibn Kathir in English. Ibn Arabi said from Ibn Abbas that they said to Isa, son of Maryam, supplicate to Allah to send down uh, uh, from heaven table spread with food. He also said the angels brought a table down containing seven whale, not fish, See the translation says seven fish. In the Arabic it says seven whale. In seven pieces of loaf of a bread. Do you see it? Not one whale. One whale is not enough because the disciples of Isa they eat a lot. I mean, come on, the guy, he have 12 disciples, Isa. And they are seven ways. One way will not be enough for them. Like, think about it. The way is like, I don't know how many tons, how many thousand kilograms. Allah, he send them ten, seven wheel, brother. Is that the interpretation book you asked me to read? And now, as long we are in Ibn Kathir, Chapter 13, verse number 13, is fun to read. Where your God, I must understand they speak about science, right? According to your religion, the thunder is an angel. He is in charge of the cloud. He's what? He is in charge of the cloud. Hello? Hello? Yes, you are live on air. Who is with me? Uh, I'm Abdelwasa. You remember me? You are who? Abdelwasa. I don't understand. What? Abdelwasa. I don't understand what you are saying. My name is Abdul Wasi. Abdul Wasi, Abdul Wasi. Oh, sorry, Abdul Wasi. I did not understand. Okay, what do you want to say to us, Abdul Wasi? Go ahead. Uh, I heard you asking about another miracle from the Quran, and uh, the lady she didn't know how to answer you. All right, go ahead. It's the Isra and Mi'raj. Thank you very much, guys. Did you hear this? Al Isra wal Mi'raj. Okay, tell us, Abdul Wasi, what happened in Isra al Mi'raj? Uh, in Isra and Mi'raj, Allah created a donkey who has uh, wings. Okay. And he can fly. All right. Let us go 
to the Isra and Al Mi'raj, and I want Mr. Abdul Wasa to be my witness because none of what you said is in the Quran. The Quran even doesn't say anything about Muhammad flying. Read for me the chapter, chapter 17, verse number one, where it says that Muhammad fly, where it says that Allah took him to heaven. It doesn't say that. Go ahead. Show me, prove me wrong. Can we bust it? Okay. That's not a miracle for you? Okay, hold on. First of all, there is no witnesses for this miracle, correct? Oh, we don't care. It's a miracle. Yeah, there are no okay. witnesses. There's no witnesses. But miracle without witnesses, there's nobody, there's no point of it. Because we just showed okay. you that Allah, he sent seven whales to Isa, so they might confirm that he is sent by Allah. So miracle happened to confirm that the person who is speaking claiming to be a prophet, confirming that he is really sponsored or supported by God. So when Muhammad, he go to the house of Aisha and Aisha, she said his body never left the house. And then in the morning, he say, Allah, he took me to seven heaven. And then in the Quran, nowhere it says Allah took him to heaven. So the story is a lie. Did the Quran say Allah took him to the heaven? I said Asra. Asra is a... It's like uh, going from one place to another. It's like a teleportation. Okay, okay. but how? Would, there's nowhere it says he fly, correct? No way, what? Nowhere it says he fly. No, it says Asra. Okay, so Allah took him from place to a place, wonderful. From where to where? Mm -hmm. From where to where? From Al Masjid Al Haram, so from Saudi Arabia okay. to, uh, to Israel. Thank you. So that means all the story of Muhammad is a lie because Muhammad, he claimed that Allah, he sent him a donkey. His name is Al-Buraq, which means the thunder, correct? Or lighting? Al-Buraq, uh, Al-Buraq is a... Uh, lighting. Is a lightning. Okay. Yes. So Mr. Lighting, donkey, his name is Lighting. He's so fast. So Allah, he sent him the donkey. He took him to the seven heaven. All of this is not in the Quran, correct? No, there is only the like Astra the detail is in the hadith and the, in the no problem. Theater. But the Quran never mentioned that Allah He took Muhammad to heaven, correct? Uh, in the Quran? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. What do you mean not sure? You are reading the verse. You speak Arabic. Read it carefully. Go ahead. I mean the verse. No, it, it says Asra. Okay. In the Masjid al Haram, Masjid al yeah. from a so, mosque to another mosque. So in the Quran, Subhanallah, Asra Asra Layla. So it happened at night when nobody can see, correct? It confirmed the time, correct? Layla. Yes. Okay. And nobody saw it, not even his wife, correct? Yes. Okay. Yesterday, Mr. Abdul Wasa, uh, I at night, those things happen to me always at night. I went to Afghanistan. Uh, and then, because they have a lot of drugs there, you know. So I took like 10 kilograms of hashish and co cocaine, and I went all the way in the borders. There's a country, it's called Brazil, in the border of Afghanistan. And there, I said to myself, let me eat a Brazilian barbecue. And in my way, I said, let me stop in Jerusalem, because I have a Jewish friend. He has some kosher food I want to eat with him. But I have no witnesses. Is that a miracle? Yes, it's a miracle. How it's a miracle? If nobody saw, it's a lie. Why, why, well, Allah, why Allah, he do miracles? Allah, he do signs so people, they might believe, correct? No, this one, this specific one was done so uh, that the prophet can, uh, can uh, put his donkey there so they can claim uh, okay, uh, that you know area. What? I will go with you. Chapter Al-Isra is a chapter number 17 in the Quran today. Mm -hmm. Correct? Do you agree? Yes. Okay, but what is the number of a chapter 17 in the Quran today? Isn't it true that it is number 50? Uh, I don't know, Quran. I don't have the Quran in front of me. Well, you don't have the Quran in front of you. I can go and check it out for you. It is in the re real Quran is a chapter number 50. Let's go here. This is your Islamic website. If we go back up, 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 we will see here we go, bingo, number 50. Is Al Isra? Do you see it? Okay, okay. I believe you. I don't see so it. So, if Allah He sent Muhammad in a miracle from Al, uh, uh, from the mosque of uh, Saudi Arabia, the Kaaba, 
all the way to the mm -hmm. farther mosque. It doesn't say, by the way, in Jerusalem. Al-Aqsa does not mean Jerusalem. Al-Aqsa means the farther mosque, which nobody knows really what is that. So I think it's in Morocco. You think it's in Morocco? No problem. I think it's Somalia, maybe. I don't know. I think it's in the in the in the, in the hotel of Trump. Now, let us focus together. As long as chapter Al Isra is a chapter number fifty, according to the revelation, and this is what you Muslim you say. That means that chapter fifty came long after the chapter of the moon splitting. Correct. Uh, if the number is higher, then yes. Okay, so if we say fifty minus thirty-seven. That will be 13 chapter after. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. So, 13 chapter after the chapter of the moon splitting. If we find the verse in chapter of Isra saying that this is a uh, Muhammad have zero miracle, that means the chapter itself is a fraud. What do you think? Well, let's read. Okay, let us read. I'm glad you agree with me. That's wonderful. I like that. Okay. <clears throat> what time is it in the U.S. now? I don't look at time when I am enjoying speaking to Muslim, my friend. So, Alexa? What time is it in the U.S.? In the U.S. there is many time, my friend. What, do you think U.S. is a village? Okay. Oh. Let us see together what Al-Isra is saying. Read carefully. The same chapter. Chapter 17, okay. verse number 90. Okay. They said, we will not believe until you make a miracle and make the water come from the ground, correct? Yes. So why Allah, he is making a miracle when everybody is asleep and nobody saw it. And the same chapter is still the people saying, hey, Muhammad, at least, okay, we are in the desert. Let everybody have a benefit. Let us have water. They are not asking for gold. They are not asking for silver. They are not asking for, you know, anything. Please, we need water. They say, we shall not believe in thee until thou cause a spring to gush forth from the earth. Or even... Okay. Let the sky fail on us. Do anything. What, what Allah said to him? Uh, nothing kept back the, them from belief when the guidance come to them. But was nothing but this. This is, they said, has Allah sent a man like us? Look at this stupidity. People are asking him, to be a prophet and to make miracles from his God. What does have to do? He sent a prophet like us, a man like us. Well, don't those people, they believe that Moses was a man like us? Don't you Muslim believe that even that the true Christians supposedly believe that Isa was a man like us? Don't you Muslim believe that Adam was a man like us? Noah was a man like us? But they did not ask him for that. Read the verses before. They are asking him to make water come from the ground. What is the answer? No miracle. Say, if we decide to send, if there is, if the one who say, who live in the earth are angels, then we will send angels to the earth. Does it say that in verse number ninety-five? Okay. So if the if the one who live in the earth is angels, Allah will send angels, correct? Yeah. Okay. But this is getting Muhammad busted because isn't it Allah who sent Jibreel to Muhammad in the image of his boyfriend Dahil Kalbi? 
Yes. Okay, but Allah He just said, we will not send angels to the earth unless the one who live in the earth are angels. Yes. So this is contradiction. Uh, so Jibreel, no, it's not. Yeah, but is Jibreel is an angel? Yes, but read correctly. It says, "Nazalna uh, alayhim." So the angels will go down on them, not uh, on the prophet. The uh, uh, Jibreel was the same. Isn't it your prophet is one of the people, or he is an alien from the space? The excuse is, if we want to send an angel, we will send it. If the ones who live in the earth is not a human, correct? No, no. So I say you are reading it incorrectly. Okay, hold on. Shall we read the interpretation? Oh, there is no need for interpretation. Look, because here oh. the God addresses the prophet. He says, like for example, in chap in uh, verse ninety three, he says, "Oh, yakuna leka." So leka means the prophet. But here he, okay. he says, Let in us, I'll, I'll go with you. Listen, him, listen, I will go with prophet you. Is not Allah, included. he will send an angel only to angels. He will not send angels to human. Do you agree with this verse saying that or no? No. What no? It says, okay, alayhim, alayhim, and Muhammad is one of them. Didn't he say, no. I am, I am, I am, I am Ibn, from Ibn uh, 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 Hashim, Bani Hashim, and Bani Hashim from uh, the best of Quraysh, and the Bani Quraysh is the best of the Arab, blah, blah, blah. So he's one of them. No, he should. Okay, he, hold, on. He hold on, hold on, okay, hold on, hold on. Just to give you an answer, which you cannot defeat in any way, in any mean. Allah in the Quran, he said, we never send a messenger except from the people speaking the tongue of the people correct chapter 14 verse number four okay yes okay so he is from the people correct yes okay but not in the so when he said alayhum which means to them he is one of them no no <laughs> You are mixing with another verse, man. No, we, we, we have to connect the dots. So, is Muhammad from Quraysh, yes or no? Yes, he is. But okay. in the context so, of this verse... Allah will send, Allah will not send any messenger except he is one of them speaking the tongue of them, correct? No, that's another verse. Don't, don't, let me give yeah, you an but, example. But, no, no, this is not another verse. This is Quran. Quran is a one book, you know, correct? It's not just a verse here, verse there. Who cares? It's Allah talking, respect your God, my friend. So Allah will not send any messenger except to be from the people, speaking the tongue of the people, correct? Yes, but let's, okay. let's stick to Surah Al-Isra, don't jump. No, no, we are not jumping. So Muhammad confirmed to be from the people of Quraysh, from the people of Mecca, that's wonderful. So if yes. Allah wanna send a messenger to the people of Quraysh, he have to send a human to them because they are human, correct? Yes. He will not send an angel, correct? Yes. So why Allah he sent Jibreel to Muhammad? Uh, I lost you, I don't know. What do you mean you lost me? My friend, if Allah he confirm, we will send only angels down to the earth. Mm -hmm. If there is angels live in the earth, and yeah. as long there's no angels live in the earth, we will not send angels down to the earth to be messengers, correct? Yeah, but it says alayhim, not alayhim. No problem. Who is the one? Is is you know, does it say here we will not send an angel for a messenger? We will where what what's first? In the same verse. So he is going to be a messenger, correct? Uh, yes. Okay, so, but wasn't Jibreel a messenger from Allah to Muhammad? Yes, he was. But Allah, he just confirmed, he will not send a messenger as an angel unless the one who live in the earth are angels. Yes. And Muhammad is not an angel, he is a human. Yes. That means the Quran is a fraud. No, that means you're reading it incorrectly, man. It says, alayhim, not alaykum. The no, prophet no is not... Alayhim, alayhim, because they are the one who's asking. 
It's not Muhammad yeah. who's asking. The, the people are asking all of them. So Allah saying, I will not send to you a messenger unless you are. If you were, a, if you were an angel, I will send you an angel. So the logic is very simple. We send angels to angels, a human to human, correct? Angels to angels. No, we send angels what to humans. No, it says here, if the one who was living on earth settled, lived there, are angels walking, then certainly we have sent them down from having angels as a messenger. Oh, but, actually, because, but because there's none of the angels living on the earth, Allah, he did not send an angel. So the angel Jibreel's story is a fabrication. And, uh, now, no. and now look what happened. The same chapter where Muhammad Quran saying that Allah, he took him to heaven and you are claiming that this is a miracle. But there's no witness of anything. Even many Muslims, they say this was a dream. Is it for real or a dream? Uh, which one? Isra al Miraj? Yeah. Is it for real or a dream? No, uh, it's for real. If there is any proof. Uh, if you go to the wall in Israel where the, where the Prophet uh, uh -huh. uh, put his donkey, there is a. There is a ring there where he uh, he tied his donkey. Ah, guys, in the wall of Jerusalem, Angel Jibril, he put his finger in the wall in order to tie up the donkey of Allah. Why he did that? And this is the proof. Uh, and this is the proof. Why, why Jibril, he did that? Why not? Because Aqil was a wakil, man. Okay, I'm asking you why he did that. He died, he did that to tie him up, correct? Uh, no, you asked for proof, I gave you proof. No, no, that's not a proof. I can make a hole in the wall. I mean, I can go. The Muslims are controlling that territory for the last 1400 years, that building. So, okay, I can make a hole in the wall and say, this is Jibreel, he put his finger. Why? To tie up a donkey. Secondly, what kind of God he is worried that his donkey will run away. This donkey, he came from behind seven galaxies, seven skies, behind the stars, and now we are worried that the donkey which Allah he sent down is going to run away. Yeah, he, he, he can fly actually. He can fly. Oh, so you are saying if we don't tie him up, this donkey is crazy, he will leave. Yes. <laughs> if there is any witnesses, according to the story, all the all the prophets of Allah they were in Jerusalem when Muhammad he went there, correct? Uh, no, no, they were uh, in the sky, I, I guess. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. Don't change things, Abdul Wasa. You speak Arabic, I speak Arabic. No, 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 no. You speak no, Arabic, no, I speak no. Arabic. We can read the hadith and we can show you that they were in Jerusalem and the one who was in the reception was Isa. Yeah, let's read this. By the way, your Arabic is as good as mine. Oh, really? I'm so surprised. <laughs> I thought, man, does that mean my Arabic is so horrible? <laughs> my friend. Yes. If we go to the hadith, we will see that Muhammad, he met with Isa in the mosque supposedly of Al-Aqsa. Uh, okay. Can you read in Arabic just uh, the, the let, sentence? Let me find the, the hadith for you. Uh, <coughs> let us go and see uh, the hadith. This is the hadith our friend here he mentioned that when uh, and from his father that the messenger of Allah said when we reach the Beit al-Maqdis which means the house of holiness Jibreel pointed his finger causing a crack in the rock to tie up al burak this is what he mentioned okay let's continue uh, let's find the hadith about Muhammad coming Um. Attends, mais le beurre est vrai? 
Hold on. <clears throat> because there's tons of hadith. And we don't want to waste too much time. I think Abdulism is the best religion in the world. You think what? I think Abdulism is the best religion. Which one? Which one? Abdulism. Abdulism. Ah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. That's the only reason give you a endless penis. Uh, all right, let us see. Um, I have tons of hadith, but you know we want the one which is specifically speak about the conversation and the messengers waiting for Muhammad. Okay. Everybody's laughing in the chat. Everybody's <laughs> laughing. Uh, yeah, they like what you say, yeah, for sure. Okay. Uh, I'm just trying to find the hate in English. Uh, let us see here. Hmm. I'm, I'm not getting lucky to find it, but uh, I'm, I'm one billion percent sure. Uh, I can, actually, I can, I, can, I, can, I can play the videos for you, even Muslims speaking about it. Uh, how even the Messiah, he says to, to the Muhammad, uh, no, you are the one who lead the prayer. Uh, Look, everybody's laughing at you in the chat. Really? Why? They because are you couldn't find it. Ah, okay. Ah. Are you sure? So now, if yeah. we so if we find it, people then if we find it, uh, and then people will laugh at you. I think so. Ah, okay. Let us see. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> and by the way, you know, um, the word echad in Hebrew, you said it was uh, to unify you or you were lying. Echad to unify is, is lying? Uh, yeah. Okay, I see. Why? Because I have a Hebrew dictionary. I can read Hebrew. Ah, you have Hebrew dictionary. Okay, read for us what the dictionary says. Okay. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna read in Hebrew. Nobody's gonna understand. Oh, okay. Everybody's laughing at you. Look. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. You know that Abdulism is gonna be the first religion in the world. The first religion in the world. Okay. Yes. Okay. First religion in what? In stupidity? Oh, well, I remember, like the number of believers. Ah, really? Okay, is the Shia believers? Yes, they believe in Allah. No, they don't. The Quran says it clearly, and your prophet says that Islam is start as a small and will end as a small.
Are you saying your prophet he made a false prophecy? Uh, no, but uh, before the end, uh, it's going to be number one. Okay. Yeah, but he said that it's going to be the smallest religion at the end of the time. Did your prophet yeah, say that, that or not? So Islam is dying yeah. then. So Islam is dying. So you just said Islam is not dying. That's mean Muhammad is a fraud. No, I just said it's not the end of time, so it's not dying. Uh, no, it's if, if, if Muhammad saying that Islam is going to die and it is before the judgment day, Islam will become so small. And then you say to me, Islam is going to be the biggest religion in the world. That's mean Muhammad is a fraud. All right, let's see here. Uh... Yeah, I cannot find the reference in English, but let us do this. Where your prophet? Where, where, where your prophet? He met Isa. In the sky. In the sky. Did he meet him in the earth? Uh, I don't remember that, but he met him and he started bargaining. Uh, no, no, I, I think it's Moses. No, when he started bargaining about the number of uh, rakaat in the prayers. That was Moses or Isa? Hold on. All right. This is a video actually quoting the hadith I'm, I'm trying to find for you. This is a sheikh. His name is Amr, Amr, Amr Khalid. You know him? I'm sure you know him, right? Amr Khalid, yes. Yeah. The Kentucky guy. Yeah, Kentucky guy. And he say, and I will quote for you what he said. We give Masih. We give Rasulullah. We enter the Aqsa. عارفين كم بيستقبلوا مين يا أصحاب؟ عارفين كم بيستقبلوا مين يا أصحاب؟ المسيح بيشحم لحم، أو الله المسيح بيشحم لحم، ويجي المسيح ويقول لي صلي فينا يا رسول الله، والمسيح يقول له لا يا رسول أنت تصلي فينا يا رسول الله، <تصفيق> and this is the video <تصفيق> I'm just trying to find, I'm just trying to find which one you know uh, uh, because there's endless videos of this guy about the, the the story yeah it's very funny yeah so obviously this is the story and you know it and I'm just trying to find the exact uh, uh, details of the story so we can find uh, uh, the recitation of it. All right. <clears throat> this is the story here. But you see, they are, they are, those videos are very long. And if we play it, it's going to take forever. But you can watch it and you will see how your prophet, he asked the Messiah, he asked him when he met in Jerusalem, he asked him to pray for everybody and to lead the prayer. Mm. So is that a true story or a fake story? It's a true story, of course. It's Everything a true story. But a second ago, you said to me, people are laughing at me because I can't find it. Yeah. But now it's a true story. Uh, he happened? prayed with, the, with all of the uh, all of the prophets in uh, in the in the masjid. Yeah. So all the prophets they were waiting for Muhammad in Jerusalem, correct? Yes. Okay. 124,000 prophet Allah he sent, correct? I'm not sure about that. Oh, there's a hadith about it too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So, 124,000 prophet Muhammad, he went there. Isa was there. If there is a single witness for this story. Well, the prophets. Hold on. 124,000 people, they came to a place in Jerusalem at night. 
and all the people of Jerusalem they did not see anything not even the donkey of Muhammad who can fly correct well, the donkey who was outside by the wall but everybody was praying outside oh, okay so the building of Al-Aqsa now inside inside can hold all those people and they are calling the Adhan for Allah and all the people in Jerusalem which is the Roman they did not notice it there is no uh, historical evidence for it so there is no historical evidence of it correct yeah only the the hadith and the Quran so can you prove something by you being the only witness for it is that what the purpose of a miracle the purpose of a miracle yeah why why Allah he made miracle the Quran said so they might believe we just showed you the chapter of Al Maida they said to him send us a sign from Allah food a table so you can strengthen our belief this is what the Quran is saying so we can be sure that you are sent by Allah correct yes so if Muhammad Allah will do a miracle for him it have to have a reason right yes what is the location you said that Allah he sent him you said to the heaven or to Jerusalem or both both okay where is the heaven located uh, the heaven I don't know I think it's in another galaxy okay so is the Nile River coming from the heaven or coming from Ethiopia it's coming from a mountain from where is it coming from the river in Ethiopia or coming from the sky uh, from earth so how Allah Prophet he found the river the Nile River and Euphrates in the heaven of Allah oh yeah yeah I think it's a clone like a parallel universe or something no he did not say a clone of it he did not similar of it he said the Nile River and the Euphrates they are under the tree of Allah he said Sihan wa Jihan Sihan is a river in the north uh, in the south of Turkey Jihan is a river in the south of Turkey uh, Euphrates is a river in the south of Turkey today and then a river are from the rivers of the heaven and this is what he saw when he went to the heaven he saw four rivers one is in the top and one is two under two under and the top and two underneath and they are under the lotus tree and the height in front of you mm. so if muhammad he was sent according to you to jerusalem obviously jerusalem is where the nile river and where the euphrates is located do you agree on that I was raised to the low tree and saw four rivers, two of which were coming out and two going in. Hmm. Those which were coming out were the Nile and the Euphrates. Okay, and hmm. those which were going in were two rivers in power. Hmm. But where is this? Where is this happening? This is your prophet saying that this is the Aif hadith. What's the low tree in Arabic? You don't know what low tree? Are you serious? I don't know it in English. Sudra. Sudra al Muntaha. A Sudra. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, what does a Sudra mean? What is a Sudra? It's a tree in heaven, I guess. Okay. And this tree have leaves like ears of elephants and they are made of gold. Correct? <laughs> I don't know. Why are you are laughing? Are you laughing at your prophet stories? Yeah, sometimes it makes me laugh. Okay, good to laugh at Muhammad anyway. I'm the only one who make Muslim laugh at Muhammad. So now your prophet, he according to you, he did a miracle and he went all the way to Jerusalem and now it's confirmed because he found there if he went to the heaven, the Quran never say he went to heaven. Correct? Never say mm -hmm. that he took him to heaven. So if, if this is not about heaven, 
Allah, he took him to other location in the earth, and the Muslim, they claim that this is the Aqsa Mosque, and then there he found the tree of Allah, and then he found the Nile River and Euphrates River. Why Muhammad is coming with such a story, which is absolutely false? What do you mean it's false? It's just a miracle, man. How it's a miracle? The Nile River is in the... In the you are the one who said behind the galaxies. So, is it behind yeah. the galaxies to find the Nile River? Same time, well, as, as, you see, as you see, under the tree, from the root of the tree, there's two rivers in the top and two rivers underneath. <clears throat> Correct? Mm -hmm. The two ones in the top, both are Euphrates and Nile. Correct? Yes. But the Nile River is thousands of miles far away from Euphrates. <coughs> mm -hmm. So how that can happen? It's a miracle. How that miracle? So now if I say to you, I found the... Uh, let us say... What is the name of the river in Brazil? Whatever it's called. Amazon. Amazon River. And the Nile River coming under a tree in uh, Russia. It's okay for you? It's a miracle? Oh, but Russia is not heaven. Come on, man. Yeah, but, but, you're, uh, but, but Ethiopia is not heaven too. No, but this one, this hadith is happening in heaven. It's in the Sudrat Okay, Montana. but he found four rivers, all of them they are in the earth, claiming yes. that the roots of those uh, 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 rivers are under the tree of Allah, which behind the seven, seven galaxies. Yes, it's a miracle. How is that is a miracle? Explain to me, I don't understand. Is that well, a miracle? This is a, is like this is a geographic bone. mistake. This is not a miracle because obviously Muhammad he think that those rivers are coming from the sky. So he claimed that he saw them, he saw where they are coming from, and he gave us the exact location under the tree of Allah. It's a miracle, man. It's like having a clone of something uh, in heaven. Like uh, imagine you have a car mm. with your license plate and everything. And you find it uh, in heaven uh, in the day of resurrection. That's a miracle. Hmm. So a miracle in Islam is anything sounds so stupid. Muhammad he said, because first there's no witnesses. Secondly, there's no proof. Number three, what is the miracle in that? Because well, he has plenty of other miracles who had witnesses. All so of he those, doesn't no, it. nobody have witnesses. All of this is just a story in the Quran. We cannot find any reference of it. Even when people they ask him about after he went, he went, he claimed that he went. Many people left Islam read the interpretation because they ask him questions about okay, what you saw in Jerusalem. He could not answer. So then they say that Allah He inspired him after that to tell them what there is in Jerusalem. So the guy he went and he asked people what is in Jerusalem. Let me describe for you Jerusalem. That's a proof against you, man. That's another miracle. How that is a miracle, my friend? If, if Muhammad could not he even describe, describe, he could not even describe what is in Jerusalem. But he did. Where he did? In the, the same hadith. No, when they ask him, it says in the it says that many Muslims they left Islam when he claimed that. Where does it say that? Okay, let's go and see some interpretation. Huh? Bring the hadith uh, as well. Hold on. Yeah, let us see. I'm going to search for it on my side too. <clears throat> let us find the reference. Okay. Okay. Okay, hold on, let's see. Ah. <coughs> read with me carefully. I will put it for you on the screen. Here we go. There's no need to find the English because each time when I find the English we might not end finding nothing. قالت عائشة لما أسري بالنبي صلى الله عليه وسلم إلى المسجد الأقصى 
أصبح يتحدث الناس ناس بذلك فارتد ناس ممن كانوا آمنوا به وصدقوه صحيح على شرط الشيخين Do you see it? So there is many people they became murtadin, they became apostate. Okay. And why? Because Muhammad he could not really prove it. He could not describe what happened. He could not describe what is in Jerusalem. Okay. Okay, so people they left Islam because of Muhammad's story. So the point of the of the of this, the the the, uh, uh, the miracle is to make people believe, not to make people people disbelieve. Correct? Yes, but okay. I wondered. If, but uh, as you see, but you. as you see, as you see, what happened is the opposite. Yeah, but there's another hadith which just described it. It's what. There's another hadith which which says he described the uh, Masjid Al-Aqsa. Well, but in the beginning he failed. I can go and ask yeah, people. Have... I can go and ask people who went there. Tell me some stuff about Jerusalem. I will describe for you. This is why people, when they ask him, he could not answer. They decide to leave Islam. And what's what's the time between uh, this and the, the other one? It, it, even if it's like few days, who cares? So those who left Islam, they killed them and uh, they didn't go back? Let me ask you, why somebody believe in Muhammad? After Muhammad have such a miracle, he will believe. He, he will disbelieve. Uh, can Give you repeat the question, please? Why somebody, he believe in Muhammad already? Only after Muhammad, he claimed he went to Jerusalem, he decided to leave Islam. Why he did that? Why anyone would do that? Because uh, they have doubts. People have doubts. Why they have doubt? What make them have a doubt? Because first, there's no witnesses. Obviously, the story does not make sense, correct? Yes. Okay. So, the one who refuse it, not only the disbelievers, even the believers, correct? Sorry? The one who refuse it first, not only those who oppose Muhammad, even those who believe in Muhammad. Yes, that's what the Hadith said. Okay. So, why they do that? Why a Muslim like you will leave Muhammad after he claimed that he went to Jerusalem? Yeah, it's the same for any miraculous thing because we don't believe miracles. We're no, no, so no, 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 because simply there's it's a stupid story and there is no proof of it. And Muhammad he gave the wrong answer for all the questions they, they you know they, they asked for. Read with me. This is the book of Ibn Kathir, Tafsir al Quran. قال الإمام أحمد حدثنا حسن حدثنا ثابت أبو زيد etc 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 blah 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 okay let's see where the story Google messed it up when we opened the link where is the story I mean this is stupid The, you know, I click at the link, and the link opened for me to something different. Hold on. Why did you leave Abdul? Okay, here we, go. here we go. You see, this is Tafsir al Quran. قال الناس نحن لا نصدق محمدا بما يقول فرتدوا كفارا. And then Allah He killed them all. <laughs> How? By making Muhammad killing them later. The hmm. Yes. Okay. Read with me here too. ثم جاء من ليلته فحدثهم بمسيرة بمسيره إلى بيت المقدس فقال ناس نحن نصدق محمد بما يقول the fact says no نصدق is an error فارتدوا كفارا فارتدوا كفارا you see it yes okay so محمد he told them the story people they left Islam after محمد told them the story why Because they have doubts. No, because obviously the story is stupid. You see, the purpose of this of, of a miracle is to make people believe. You agree with that, correct? This miracle yes. makes people disbelieve. Yeah, but yeah, since there is no witness, the goal wasn't actually to show off, to tell people, uh, yeah, I can do miracles. Because uh, the uh -huh. Prophet has so many other miracles. Uh-huh, yeah. So how that can be, what is the purpose of this miracle when nobody witnessed it? 
So as you say, uh, this, uh, there was, there was, actually, there was zero so work on that. Oh, let me ask you, chapter, the, the chapter of Isra is a chapter number 17, correct? In the Quran today. Chapter of Isra? Yeah. Uh, it's, 17. it's a chapter number 17 correct let me see yes Al -Isra. all right so chapter number 17 and then let us go here when Allah he said he said we refrain from sending miracles what chapter was that we refrain from sending miracles show me this is, a, this is a chapter 17 the same chapter okay okay so in chapter 17 verse number one Allah he said I took Muhammad as a miracle all the way to the father mosque can you claim this is a miracle and then 59 verses after he says we refrain from making miracles This is chapter 17. Well, by the way, we discussed this one uh, last time. No, no, hold on. If you focus, focus with me. The same chapter says Allah, he, you are the one who chose this miracle, correct? That Allah, he took him to heaven. Yes. Okay. So this is the same chapter. Imagine in the first verse in the chapter, I say, I did miracle. I took Muhammad to heaven. Then 59 verses after I say, I did not do any miracle to Muhammad. This one? Yeah. Oh, this one? No. This one is talking about the uh, the uh, the previous prophets, actually. Okay, hold so on. Nothing keeps us from sending the demanded time. No, no, it might, this is not pre previous prophet. Let me record for it. It says, Wama manahana, Wama manahana and nor syllable ayat because all previous prophets they have miracles. So, how this is, can be about previous miracles? All the miracles, not, not a single one of Islam prophet don't have a miracle. So, this is a false answer, Abdul Wasya. Try something else. I mean, so look, it says. Okay, uh, name for me. Okay, name for me a prophet Allah He sent out of the twenty-five messengers Allah sent in the Quran. They did not have miracles. Uh, uh, Ibrahim. Ibrahim didn't have miracles. Is it no. Allah, so? Is it a son of Ibrahim? Is a miracle? The son of Ibrahim, but not Ibrahim. But this is a miracle to Ibrahim. So no, Allah, He gave Ibrahim. Is, Allah, He provide Ibrahim a miracle. What is it? His son. His son. His wife. She cannot have a children. She is very old. So Allah, He provided Ibrahim with a son, and he is a gift from Allah. How did he give it to him? Huh? How did he do that? He, like he, he just appeared from nowhere? He made his wife have a child. So, is making a wife have a child a miracle? It's a miracle for sure, because if your wife, she cannot have a children, and you are a very old man, and she is very old woman, then this is a miracle. This is not a normal thing to happen. Uh, how old was she? Read the Quran, she said. Well, isn't it me? I'm very old. How? The wife of uh, Abraham, she said. Well, I'm very old, and my husband is very old, so how am I going to have a son? Then he said, Are you wondering that Allah decree? Allah, this is a miracle from Allah. So you are denying this miracle now that this is a, not a miracle, which is in the Quran? Because in the old ages, like they lived shorter than us, the median age was very short. This is like not for example, question. Does it say that he is old and they themselves cannot believe that they cannot have children? Yes or no? This is the Quran. But old for them was like a 30. No, she can. this is why she cannot have kids. What like 30? So because she is 30, she cannot have kids now? 
Wait, wait, wait. What's the the med median do you, uh, age? Do you speak Sarah? Do you speak Arabic, my friend? It says wa ana ajuzun wa hada ba'li shaykh shaykh shaykh. He's a shaykh, and she is ajuz. Ajuz is a woman. She is maybe in her 60, 70, 80, We don't know. So she is old, very old, and he is very old, and she is a questioning. How in the world we are going to have a child? So it was okay, a miracle. So that's a miracle for, okay. Well, give me another prophet who doesn't have a miracle. You are, yeah, give me. So you fail. And not only that, Ibrahim, he have more than one miracle in the Quran, not only his children. What about your Muslims say that uh, Ishmael and his mother, they went to Mecca and Allah, he made a miracle for his, his wife, the water of Zamzam. So please something else, my friend. Try, try, try better. Oh, did, did Abraham uh, want to uh, kill uh, Isaac or Ishmael? Give me, Ishmael. A, give me a miracle. Give me a prophet in mentioning the Quran. Allah did not give him a miracle. I don't know. Okay, so don't lie and say, well, this is for before Muhammad because all the prophets, at least according to Muhammad, before Islam have miracles. So obviously, this was for Muhammad. Allah, he refrained from sending miracles to Muhammad. Why? So in the same chapter, and this is the irony and the stupidity of this religion, the same chapter which the Muslim, they come to us and say, this is a miracle, Allah, he took him as a miracle. The same chapter saying, we refrain him from sending miracles. Okay, you know what? Just give me one reason to leave Abdulism. This is alone, is it? Is it the Quran says, if this is a book other than from Allah, you will find contradiction? Where is the contradiction? Well, in the same chapter, Allah, he did a miracle, verse number one. Verse number 95, he said, I refrain from sending miracles. Oh, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't read it like you do. What do you mean you don't read, read it from what we do? Guys, you don't read what I do. He refrained from sending signs. He did not say this is for the previous, because that will make a contradiction if it's for the previous prophet. He said, because former generation treated them as false, but this is a false statement, because the Christians believe in all the prophets, the Jews, they believe in all the prophets and their miracles. So how they treated them as a false miracles? This is, oh, a false, uh... this is a false excuse. Same time, no, no. as long as Allah, he refrained from sending miracle, and this is a chapter 17, which happened already, I think, I don't know how many, uh, a, ch a chapter after, uh, uh, let, me, let me try to remember again, uh, chapter 17, it was number 50, yeah, 50, and happened way after 37, so there's 13 or 14 chapter after that and it's still Allah saying that I did not do a miracle so the miracle which mentioned Muslims they mention in the chapter of the moon is a fraud because Allah he refrained from sending miracle and the miracle is mentioned in verse number one in the same chapter we already now is a fraud because Allah refrained from sending miracles and when you say to me this is for the priest of prophet we ask you which prophet he don't have a miracle none of them actually even the verse confirm that the previous prophet all of them they have miracles because they deny them do you see what it says yeah. they deny them yes. so allah saying because they deny them which means they we gave miracles those people they deny them opposite from what you said we refrain and they consider them yeah. to be false so Allah saying supposedly, which Aka Muhammad, because they don't believe anyway, I'm not going to do any miracle. That means that zero miracle happened because of Allah in the time of Muhammad. That's why the, there was no witness for uh, Isra al miraj Doesn't matter. You see, even if there is, let us say there's a witness. Allah, he said, I refrain him from sending miracles because people, they deny them. So Allah, he mean it or he was just like, the lady who keep talking, who called me before, blah, 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 blah. He mean it, right? He mean what he say. So he meant yeah. to say, I refrain. That's it. I'm not going to send miracle because they don't believe it anyway. Okay. So he refrained. When Allah, he said that we are going to wait and you are going to wait. Wait for what? Chapter 10, verse number 20. 
Okay, let us wait for miracles. So Allah is saying, wait, and we will wait with you. But in chapter number 10, chapter of Yunus, is a chapter number 51 in the real Quran. That means that way after the chapter, actually one chapter after Al-Isra, right away the chapter after it, because in the Quran today is 17, in the original Quran, Al-Isra is 50, a chapter Yunus in the original Quran is 51, and the Quran today is 10. So chapter 51 says, okay, you are, you are asking for a miracle? Wait, and we will wait with you. So even if he shows them the miracle, hey, they're gonna kill them. They're gonna, they're gonna kill him like Jesus. So, so uh, look at this, guys. Look at this. So you confirm that Muhammad had zero miracle at that point, at least. He is saying, wait. Uh, no, hold on. What do you mean you do not know? It says they are wait, wait. Tell them to wait. Now they say they wait, deny wait. the truth. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. This is a translation of Muhammad. I said he's an idiot. So. Uh, which translation you like doesn't matter you speak arabic which is best right uh, so it says what is the first why why allah did not send a, a, a miracle from him say allah know the unseen so wait and we will wait with you does it say that I don't understand this verse. But because your Arabic is bad, my friend. Why is not a sign sent down? Because I don't have the context. Why is not a sign sent down to him from... Okay. Okay. Say the unseen is only for Allah. So what do you want to prove with this? What I want to prove that he is saying to them, wait, it's coming. <laughs> okay. Which will never happen. Which means until that day, Muhammad had zero miracles. That means the chapter you mentioned to me that Muhammad he went to the Aqsa is a fraud because this is a chapter 51 according to the original Quran, according to Revelation. Al Isra is a chapter 50, 50 according to Revelation. So this one happened way after Al Isra chapter. Yet he is saying to them, wait, it will happen. He did not say okay. we had miracles. He said it's going to happen. Wait. Okay, what's the, well, there is no problem there because there was no... Uh, there, there is no problem. That's mean all the false statement. Muslim, they say, the moon <laughs> split. The, the one you mentioned that Allah, he took him to, the, to, to Jerusalem and to the heaven, etc. is a fraud because he is saying, they are still asking him, how come? Why not? Do you see the word that says why not? Not they are not asking for one more. They are saying why not? Why yeah. not is God sending him a miracle? Why not? Which means Allah never did yet. Okay, so that means that uh, this verse is before uh, Isra al Miraj. No, it is after Isra al Miraj, not before. How do you know it's uh, historically before? Well, you Muslims, you are the one who taught me. Are you saying to me we Muslims are a bunch of liars? This is the chapter of Al Isra. It is number fifty listed in your in your website. It's number fifty in the correct revelation, supposedly. Chapter of Yunus is fifty one. Do you see it right away after it? So the one that says wait came after the verse saying. The chapter saying, verse number one, saying, uh, Allah, he took him to heaven. And the same chapter yeah. of Isra is the same one saying, we refrain from sending miracles. And the Quran says, hey, so the Quran says that if this is a book is other than Allah, you will find tons of contradiction. This is tons of contradictions. Uh, but who made this? This one, who made this? Yeah, this historical it is you uh, Muslims who claim. Okay, let me ask you. Don't you Muslim you say that the first verses Muhammad he received it says Iqra? Uh, yes, but okay. not all of them agree. Okay, hold most on. Most of them. Okay, maybe. let us say most of them. 
What is the first verse? I agree? Uh, what, what do you think? Which one? You? Uh, I'll go with the majority. Okay, Iqra. So, Iqra today is number 96, correct? I think so. So, you must then you play with the Quran. You move what is number one, you make it number 96. Mm -hmm. And you claim that you push them, you preserve the Quran. Uh, I don't claim that actually. Uh, I disagree. I, I believe in the holes in the narrative. Oh, so you be, you believe there's a hole in the narrative? Uh huh. Okay. So okay, our friend here he believed with Yasser Qadi there's holes in the narrative, and this is one of many holes. But hold on, we are behind holes now. We have volcano, because as long. The chapter 96 saying to Muhammad read and Muhammad he cannot read. Is that a stupid statement, Abdul Wasa? What Iqra mean? It means repeat after me. Iqra mean repeat? Yes. Uh -huh. But Muhammad he says, Ma ana biqari. So Muhammad saying, I cannot repeat? No, he says, What am I going to repeat? Oh, so he said, I cannot, okay, what I'm going to repeat? Hmm. That's something li I like reading. So Muhammad, his angel, he said to him, read. Muhammad, he said to him, what I should read? I like that. Yes. So why he squeezed him a, a, a first time? I think because he thought he was a teddy bear or something. He thought Muhammad is a teddy bear? Yeah, I don't, I don't believe actually in that story because uh, I'm, uh, I, I go with the advice of the, the Shia because the Shia I don't believe in this. Are you a Shia or a Sunni? I'm a hybrid Muslim. I'm a you are hybrid. Unique Abdul. You are hybrid. <laughs> it's a hybrid Shia. It's okay. Okay. The 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 Shia story. What is the Shia story? You said you believe in the Shia story. Yeah, the Shia don't believe in this uh, story because uh, because normally uh, an angel of God should be respectful to a prophet. He shouldn't squeeze him. He shouldn't scare him. So that's why I believe in the Shia story. Okay. What is the Shia story? I don't know. But you just said to me you believe in the Shia story, but you do not know the Shia story? No, no, I, I go with the, the opinion of the Shia who disbelieve in this story, but I don't know, uh, I don't know the Shia story, actually. Oh, so all what you know that the Shia, they don't believe in this story? Yes, and I, I believe that as well. Okay, who, who's, who told you they don't believe in it? I, show, I saw a video of Yasser al-Habib, you know him? Yasser al-Habib, yeah, the one who says that Aisha, she is a whore. He's a good Abdul. Yeah. And he believed that Aisha she killed Muhammad. Yes, he wrote a book about Aisha actually. Okay. So you are a follower of Yasser al Habib? Yeah, I, I, I like him. He's very, uh, a very scientific guy. He's very scientific. He makes sense. Uh -huh. Okay, so Yasser al Habib, he made make sense. Hey, hold on, just for the sake of entertainment. Are you going to show me the video where he said he, <laughs> he talks about fingering the baby? Exactly. How you know, brother? <laughs> I'm a prophet. Yes, I'm happy. You guys, this guy, <laughs> Abdul Wasa, he just said, he believed in this guy. This guy, he said that the Muslim Sunni are a bunch of gays. And why? Because they don't, you know, they are not following the right faith. So Allah don't protect them. And Shaitan, he put their fing his finger in their, pe in their anus. I told you Abdulism is amazing, man. Okay, but you are the one who said you believe in him. Yeah, I agree with the, all, uh, many of his opinions. And you said, he, you said he is scientific. <laughs> oh, I like how, I like the way he criticizes Sunnah Islam from Sunni book. Yeah, but you just said his his uh, criticism is a scientific. Is it scientific to say that Sunni they are homosexual because Shaitan he plays his finger in their anus when they are giving birth? To? No, because let's say you are born Sunni and you convert to Shia. 
Okay. That's, uh, that's stupid, I think. Okay, so he's a stupid in many things, but he's smart in some things, according to you. Yeah. Okay. But I want to go with you now. So when Allah, he said to Muhammad in the story in the hadith, Iqra, mm -hmm. did Muhammad repeat or he did not repeat? He asked, what should I repeat? You said that, he said what I should repeat, right? Yes. Okay, but isn't it stupid to say to you, repeat, and I don't say what to repeat? I said that later, three times later. Okay, you just said it three times later, so you agreed with the story then? I agree with the verse. But you just said it three times later. Yes. So the angel, he said to Muhammad, three times repeat, correct? Yes. And the, and Muhammad, he said to the angel, three times repeat what? Correct? Uh, yes. So why three times? I mean, okay, Muhammad, he said to him, repeat what? Why we need to stop saying, you know, stop being, I mean, keep being stupid. I say repeat, you say repeat what? I say to you repeat, you say I repeat what? I say repeat, you say repeat what? Is that a joke? Yeah, that's, that's stupid. That is a stupid, thank you very much. But you just said you believe in it. Uh, no, I don't know how the Shia explains it. I, I, I disbelieve in it. I believe there is another explanation for the verses. Okay. Do you believe in, in, the, in the Sunni explanation how Muhammad first time he saw an angel? When he was with Aisha? With Khadija. With Khadija, oh yeah, the, the striptease thingy. Yeah? Mm, yes. You believe in it? Yes. Okay. So can you tell us the story, please? So there was the prophet. Uh, Just to let you know, hold on, uh, I'll, I will I will be hearing you, okay? But you talk because if you don't hear me saying hello or anything, I will just go to the door. I have a delivery. I don't want to leave it outside, and I will be back. But I will be hearing you, okay? Okay, I'm gonna tell everyone what's uh, the story of okay, it. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, when the prophet Muhammad first <clears throat> saw uh, an angel, he was scared. Then he went home to his uh, milf, uh, Khadija. And then uh, she saw that he's scared. She she wanted to make sure that he really saw an angel, not the devil. So what she did, she told him uh, she told him to sit on her lap, and uh, she started undressing. <clears throat> and when she completely undressed, uh, the the angel disappeared. <clears throat> Uh, because the angels normally are shy and that was the proof that he saw uh, an angel okay so when the angel he saw Khadija stripping her clothes he was shy and he left correct yeah okay how Khadija and she is not a prophet she knew that angels they get shy when they see a woman she is naked where she got this information from and how the prophet he is a prophet but he is the last one to know such an information i don't know i don't know this is the this is the good answer of every muslim i don't know allah knows best let us continue with this so now because the angel he was shy he is an angel what maybe because khadija was very old and she don't look good he decided to leave how do you know well, she's old. She's way older than Muhammad. So obviously she's very old. So she is a very old woman. She had two husbands before Muhammad. She had many children from previous husbands. And obviously she don't look good. So now she strip and the angel or whoever was there, which nobody see him except Muhammad, he got disgusted. He was saying, oh no, look at this. Oh, I don't want to see this. Oh boy. No, no. Oh no, please don't do that. Don't, don't take off your panty. No, no, no. So, so, how in the world we knew that this is an angel? So now Islam is confirmed through the panty and the boobs of Khadija. This is how we confirm that this is an angel. Is that how God? He con so your God could not make a miracle to confirm Muhammad to be a prophet. Nobody witnessed a miracle according to the Quran. We show the contradiction. 
and now the wife doing striptease to prove to Muhammad, to Muhammad, he's a prophet. She's not. She's proving to him if the one he see is an angel or not. How? By taking off her clothing. Mm. If I was there, I would do the same. I would jump from the sixth floor. Look, no, oh boy, no, please, Khadija, no, Khadija, please, don't do that. You know, I mean, come on. How and what is the level of IQ Islam has? So when Jesus, he speak to the disciples and he speak to people, you know, he ordered the man who cannot walk, walk, carry your bed and walk. You know, the, the Jews, they were angry from him because he just said, go and your sin is forgiven. So Jesus said to them, he read their mind. He said, which one is easier to say to you, to him, go, your sin is forgiven, or to say, carry your bed and walk? That is a miracle. So Jesus forgives sin for his God, and he ordered the one who cannot walk, walk, and he walk. You're a prophet, he is a prophet, and he is not receiving any sign from Allah that he is a prophet. And then Allah... He inspired his wife to do striptease. And actually, if we if we look at the story step by step, we will die laughing more. Why? Because Allah, sorry, Khadija, she took off her hijab. Okay. As long as she knew that the angel, he will be shy only when she get naked. Why don't, you know, like finish it from the end. Just take off your clothes. What this hijab and what this set in my top of my leg and the left leg is Muhammad is a, is a baby a child what is that this is not even a story for kids what about she take off her clothes and that's it if the angel stay there well he's an angel he's, he's you know he, he's shit on if this is what you believe so the story yeah, is, is, is sorry is so stupid don't you agree yeah, but we can believe all stories and all religions are stupid according to this argument. We could say just okay. why let us, let us let us go show. let us go with Jesus. Did did, did, okay, did Jesus go. was confused about who is he according to Islam? Or is he spoke, or he spoke from the cradle? He spoke from the cradle right away, saying I am a messenger of Allah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in uh, Christianity, you believe he talked in the cradle as well? We don't have such a story. This is all those stories. Muhammad, he took them from, you know, for, from like uh, fabrication. You know, this is all fabrication stories. This is why we don't have them in our books. You believe he can walk uh, on water? Yeah, I believe. Why not? He controls storms. He controls nature. He controls the, the oh. tree. He said the tree, you are die. You die. She, the tree died. I have it. I I have a tree. I keep cutting it off. I put things to kill it and keep coming back. How in the world you can kill a tree by saying to her, "To the tree die," and the tree die? So, the Messiah in the Quran, he spoke to them when he was in the cradle. This is in chapter number nineteen, and the Messiah in the Quran was so confident about who is he. He don't say who is this one I see, and why Allah did not send an angel to Isa to teach him the gospel. But Isa didn't have a flying donkey like our prophet. Ah, yeah. <laughs> look, look like, look like our friend Abdul Wasa is in his way to leave Islam. He's making fun of Muhammad. No, because this, uh, like, uh, there was a, there is a, an old religion called uh, Zoroastrianism. Hmm. They have a flying donkey as well. Exactly. You don't. Actually, actually, I can show you the hadith where Aisha, she was playing with the doll. Of a flying horse and Muhammad he said wow. to her where you get this from what is this she said this is the horse of Suleiman correct uh, she said it's a horse with the uh, wings and the, the prophet started laughing no she said this is the horse of Suleiman I don't remember exactly we can, uh, we can uh, look for the <laughs> huh okay it doesn't matter but why do you believe that Jesus can walk on water and do all of these miracles and you don't believe that the Prophet Muhammad has other miracles? Well, you just told me nobody, nobody saw anything. The Quran says it clearly that Muhammad has God refrained, has God saying, wait for miracles to come. And as you see, 
the numbers of the chapters contradict each other and it does not make sense as an example the chapter number 96 in the actual Quran Arad says that Muhammad still has zero miracle chapter what 96 this is the chapter of Arad people are still asking Muhammad where is how come your God don't have miracles why your God don't give you miracle so Muhammad almost dead and all those chapter passed before him and this is the end of his life and still people asking how come his God don't send him miracle what his God said to them he is just a warner which means it's not for him to have miracles so the Quran your book confirm all the miracles of Jesus but we don't believe in them because the Quran confirm Muhammad is a fraud he have to accept some of the Christian belief so he can deceive them more the same as Jehovah's will this is same as any many cult but as you see here we have a clear evidence that Muhammad has zero miracles and it is in the Quran I want to ask people in the chat how many of you took reference chapter 13 verse number 7 it is chapter 96 according to the original Quran according to Muslims not according to us this is very important because Muslim they might say he's lying you know them so 96 here we go the real number is 96 this is Muhammad he received supposed the inspiration which is not inspiration really we just heard the story that angel he delivered this is not inspiration so even the word wahi in the Quran is a false word because wahi is not a delivery of words by mouth wahi is inspiration to your heart to your mind chapter 96 first number chapter 96 which is number 13 today confirming that Muhammad had zero miracle and the Quran did not say oh we gave miracles he says well they say how come he don't have a miracle say you are just a warner you are not to do miracle which means the Quran confirmed that Muhammad has zero miracle you want to say anything Abdul Wasa? so that would mean that all of these hadith are fabrication not only all the hadith or the Quran because the chapter you mentioned to me chapter 17 about Allah taking Muhammad from here to there must be a fabrication because as you see this is almost the end of the Quran 96 that's it and yet Muhammad he had zero miracle and the Quran confirmed so why you would have a miracle anyway you are just a warner So what do you think, Abdul Wasa? Isn't it time for you to leave this cult? I think so. That's wonderful. So did you? So now you decide to leave Islam, and you decide that if obviously Islam is a fraud. Yeah, I thought Abdulism was the best, but it turned out not to be. Well, I'm so best. happy for you, Abdul Wasa. I'm really happy for you. So, guys, our friend Abdul Wasa, he he agreed, and he decided finally that islam is a fraud and obviously all of this does not make sense because of the clear evidence we provide to him so what do you want to say abdul wasa to muslim then as long as you decide to leave islam now what do you want to say to the muslim who believe in this madness i want all the abdulians to call christian prince so they can so he can prove you wrong that uh, abdulism is stupid Abdulazim is stupid. Well, thank you, my friend Abdul Wasa. Now you need to change your name. Even your name is is uh, the name, guys. His name. I'm not making fun of him now. He know. He understand. Abdul Wasa. You remember the first time you called me? I said to you, what Abdul Wasa mean? You said you are the slave of the large. I said, how large is Allah? Remember? Yeah, he's larger than his chair. I mean, isn't it stupid to have a God? He's large and he is larger than his chair. I mean, this is stupid, isn't it? <laughs> 
Well, I'm larger than my chair, so there's no problem there. <laughs> no, actually, if you are larger than your chair and your chair is a chair of a king, have two handles, then you cannot sit in it. You cannot go inside it. You have to be smaller. No. Oh. Yeah, because if you have two handles, my chair I'm sitting now have two handles. So if I am bigger than the chair, I will be sitting on the handles, not on the chairs. Okay. Okay. So how Allah is larger than the chair? Actually, the, the chair of Allah is the size of the heaven and the earth, which means heaven and earth, they have the same size. Anyway, this is a different topic. So thank you, Abdul Wasa. Maybe you can call me next time we go live. It's time for me to go. I want to say thank you for calling and I'm happy for you to leave Islam. But let me ask you before we go, just one thing. Yeah. Why you don't accept the Messiah yeah. as your Lord and Savior? I don't believe in him. You don't believe in him. What is the reason? Well, I don't uh, believe that uh, somebody can walk on water or uh, resurrect people from the dead or uh, the, just the fact that he died. Okay, so, um, so you want to be, become an atheist? Yeah, I want to stay in the gray zone. Okay, so he's an atheist. Okay. Well, I don't know. Like, you know, now you have to believe that you originally you became, you were, you were a monkey. And now, and you became Abdul, and then you became a monkey again. Yeah, we are scientifically we are we are a species of monkeys actually of yeah. apes of monkeys. Uh huh. Yeah, I notice. I noticed that. You know, once I was debating an atheist, and he challenged me to debate him. I made a mistake. I should not accept because he got me busted. He said to me, "Life on air. You believe it or not?" He said, "Do you like banana?" I said, "Yes." He got me busted. You know. He proved that our origin is monkeys. Hmm. And why we still have monkeys then if we are originally monkeys? Well, give me give me one university in the world that teaches that we are not from apes, that we are born from animals. Let, let me tell you give what, what happened in universities. You know, the, the gang of the atheism is in control. And if anyone disagree with them, they will not even let him work in their school. Which mean, if you are a person, you go now to school and you say, I don't agree with the Big Bang, they will fire you. They are terrorists. Like the same, the same as the Mohammedan, the Taliban. I'm not sure about that, but no, they're not I'm sure about that. I'm sure about that. The second you say, I don't believe in evolution, that is the end of your career. They kick you out. So you will find that the schools who teach that this is not a true, is a schools is not controlled by atheists. And there's a lot of scientists that don't believe in this garbage. So if you want to make money, if you want to have a salary, if you have, if you want to have a job, you have to be a hypocrite and say, I believe in what you are saying. But most so, of them, they don't believe. It's a gang so you system. Are basically, no, it's not a gang. It's a scientific method. They have proof for that. There, there is, is no a proof, or... my friend. OK, there is, there is any proof for the Big Bang. No, it's a theory. All of those are theory. Until now, they call them theory. If they are facts, we don't call them theory no more. Theory is a theory. I'm talking about uh, evolution. There are so many proofs. There's no proof of it. There's no proof. Okay, because, okay. Look, hold on. The evolution is what? The evolution, if, if you say to me, okay, the one who live in a cold area, his body adopt the cold. I believe in that. No problem. God, he gave us the opportunity to adopt a different places where we show we can survive. He gave us ability to handle things. But there is a limit. However, a human being, he wanted always to fly. How come we don't have wings? How my body is going to change the way I am, and instead of having arms, I will have wings. I don't want to take an airplane no more. So all of this is silly, that you can order your body to change the way it is, to come with something. As if you are saying that there is a brain inside the brain, inside the brain, inside the brain, inside the brain, and that the brain, the small cell brain, is the one who decides a design, which is very complicated design, is going to be made billions of years after. That is stupid. Secondly, the evolution story is a theory saying that it happened for a reason. What is the reason? The needs, correct? The needs. So. What is the need for a cell separating itself to multiply, to have a penis? No need, because already it's multiplying itself. So sex and gender has no need then, because already they are multiplying. 
So if the reason of the evolution is the needs, the need is destroyed from the beginning because they are already multiplying. So there's tons of things you can destroy this, this uh, theory, this stupid theory, very easy, very fast. But you know what? If you decide, if you believe you are a monkey, you are a monkey. If you believe you are a donkey, you are a donkey. Good for you. Thank you, Abdul Wasser, for calling. I hope to yeah, hear from welcome. you soon. You're welcome. Take care. Well, at, at least we are glad that he decided to leave Islam. Uh, we have one Muslim he tried to call. I will take him, even though I have to go soon. Let us see. Mr. Rashid. <coughs> Okay, look like he is not not there. All right. All right, I think we had enough for today. Did we have a good time, guys? So I want every one of you to remember this chapter. Chapter 13, verse number 7 in the Quran is equal to chapter 96 in the actual book of Muhammad according to Muslims are we following it is 96 which means still Muhammad at the end of his life still people are saying, are saying to him how come you do not have a single zero miracle and the quran agree that he don't have any miracle because he is just a warner do you so do you see my friends how we can destroy islam using islam this is why me when i debate muslims i don't use the bible because they don't believe in it anyway but here we go our friend here when he saw this what he can say can he deny it it's over so he give up and he decided to leave the cult of Muhammad. We are so happy to our friend Abdul Wasir to leave Islam, and we have the rest who call us today. They will stop their madness. A prophet who need his wife to strip for him, to tell him if this is an angel or not, obviously he's mental. It's a shame actually. I mean, imagine I am a person who is receiving or seeing an angel of God. And then my wife, she starts stripping, asking me to sit in the top of her right hand, lap or left, left leg. Should I say to her, shame on you, what are you doing? What is that? This is stupid. This is silly. This is an insult to God. And the woman, she starts taking off her clothes. And then because she took off her clothes, the angel gets shy and he left. And this is the only proof that Muhammad is a prophet of God. Because if he is Satan, he will stay to watch the porn brother. But because he's an angel, he left the brother. I say he left because she looked ugly. And I would do the same if I was there. So I want to say thank you all for being here. I hope we have a good time. Don't forget, please, to... Uh, give a like if you care for what we do and don't forget to be not to be cheap I know that people don't support us people don't want to donate I understand cheapo but why you are cheapo even to give a comment I mean after all those hours talking nothing moved you the video I made yesterday which is what not many people watch, many many people watch it maybe 16 17 thousand I don't know there's like 300 comments what's wrong with people Everything you saw, only 300 people from out of those tens of thousands, only 300 people, it made them move? Why? Are you dead? Nothing make you move, nothing make you think, nothing make you see, nothing make you have a reaction for what you heard? So please, I want to see you answering the Muslim too. And if you are a Muslim, please, I want to see you answering the Christians too. But if you are a Muslim, stop saying we challenge you to public debate. This is public. We have thousands of people watching live right now. If this is not public, what is public? 
This is an excuse of the cowards who don't dare to debate me. They are very much intimidated and they will not dare to come and debate me. There's no more public than YouTube. No more public. We have 15,000 only in the previous uh, video and only, only 411 comments. Can you believe it? Sometimes I say that those people don't deserve my time. But in the same time, I say, maybe they don't deserve my time, but the Lord, he own my time. All my time is for him. So I do my service to the Lord and those who care, they care. And those who don't, the Lord, he said about them, from their fruits, you shall know them. And he said, let the dead bury the dead. Because many between us right now here are dead and nobody will remember them because they did nothing in their life they accomplished nothing in their life except a house and a car which somebody else will own it later all your money all your bank account all the things you think you accomplish is not going to go with you somebody else will take it the place i am living in it was for somebody who died before he cannot take it with him So work for the fruits. Stop being selfish. Do something. Save somebody. Bring somebody to Christ. Be a true Christian. A true Christian is not someone who calls himself a Christian or someone wear a cross. It's someone he saves souls. A true Christian, even not somebody he make a donation. Those who say to you, if you make donation, you go to heaven, they are lying to you. They are a fraud like Muhammad. A true Christian, yes, he feed the poor. Yes, he donate to the one who the needy. But he is a person, his target is to save souls. When one day he will stand in the front of the Lord, the Lord he will say to him, okay, what you did? What you will say? I have money in the bank. I have three cars. I have a children's, but even donkeys have babies. And you did not even have them because you like to have them. You were having sex. What is your accomplishment? What you did? So wake up people and do something. Save the world from the evil. Take notes. Download my videos and share the truth, and the truth will set you free. I'm your brother Christian Prince Hambly, was serving you for today, washing the feet of the Christians and the Muslims. For the Lord Himself, He washed the feet. And He said, The one who don't want to do it, He don't belong to me. There's nothing we can be proud about except being humble. And the best to be the king of kings, yet he is the most humble person ever. His name is the Messiah, the Christ, the Savior, the truth, the resurrection, the life. And he is the door of salvation. If that person was washing feet, why don't you? Very proud, very arrogant very deceiving to ourselves, thinking that we are kings, thinking that when we get rich, we are over everybody. All of us, sooner or later, we will be dead, we will be under the sand. And people will walk on you. Even your children, after the funeral, they will not even remember you except by a picture. Wake up, people. The Lord is coming back. Christ is Lord. Islam is a scam, and we prove it every day. God bless you all. Take care.